guys, how's it going? Thank you very much for being here. Uh, this is uh, Gen Con 2019, and we are so happy to be back here and doing another Wild Cards live show. It was so much fun last year, and we're hoping that this year will be equally fun, if not more so. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna set a high bar right away. Wow. And hi to everyone who is at home watching this. Hello, uh, hi. hi there. From not Gen Con. Yeah. We wish you were here. Um, but we're, we're just gonna pretend that you are. So, yeah. uh, so thanks, thanks for watching. Um, I just want to say first off a big thanks to Gen Con for having us. Yes, uh, absolutely. We're yes. so happy to be uh, invited back and we're having a great time here. We hope you guys are too. And also, just wanted to very quickly point out uh, that this this stream is sponsored by HeroForge.com, and if you guys are not familiar with them, they're the internet's first and best home for custom printed miniatures for your tabletop gaming. And they are here at Gen Con as well. You can find them at booth 364 out on the floor, or you can visit their website at HeroForge.com. And uh, they are also adding new stuff all the time. Every Tuesday, I believe, they're updating with new things, which is Whoa. insane because there are so many different customization options. So thank you very much to Hero Forge for also helping us out. Yes, we very much you. appreciate thank it. You. Check them out if you're here. Yeah, I made a little Ron at Hero Forge. It's backpack everything. Anyway. Cool. You did. You did. He did. We don't use it at the table, but he did make it. He Thanks did make it. And, and on that note, I guess we should introduce who we are. Uh, if any of you here just happened to randomly buy a ticket for this event without knowing what you were going to, uh, <laughs> or if any of you at home yeah. are like, who are these guys? Uh, we are from Saving Throw Show, twitch.tv slash Saving Throw Show, and we stream wild cards every Friday night, which is our Savage World Show. And right now, we are exploring the East Texas University setting, exploring the haunted and hallowed halls of academia using the Savage World Adventure Edition rule set. My name is Jordan Caves Callerman. I am the dean of this table, even though we are on spring break this Woo! week. Woo! Spring break! I, I still am the dean. Okay. I still get to All be right. the dean, All even right. though we're on spring break. Uh, um, dean is mean. Mean dean? No, no, I'm cool, uh, I'm cool dean. <laughs> spring, spring break dean. All right, that is pretty cool. Uh, right? Pretty cool. But not yet, but not yet. Um, like let's let's meet everybody else here, though. Uh, guys, yes. I would like you to, for everyone here assembled and everyone watching on the other side of their screens, introduce your name, mm -hmm. your character's name. Mm -hmm. Just in case they don't know you, let's get a brief, let uh, just, just breakdown of who your character is. I do that anyway, so. And then also, I would like to know, since last year, the assumption is that you all were forced to go back home for spring break. This is your character's first college spring break. What is your character's expectation for what this beach party week is going to be like? That is what I would like to hear from you guys. Who wants to go first? Uh, not it. Don't all do it at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Hi. All right. <laughs> My name's Dom Zook, and Woo. I play Ron Tagoth Stevens for president. Yeah! <laughs> Ron for Brez! He's got my vote. Uh, and, uh, uh, Ron Tagoth, wait, what was it? My, me, my name. Good Tell us about Ron Tagoth Stevens. Okay. Who are you? Yeah, Ron Tagoth Stevens uh, came from a sheltered background, uh, some might say a cult in uh, <laughs> Nebraska, uh, that worshiped a elder god that they believed would come and devour the entire human race. They still believe that. Uh, and uh, he is out on somewhat of a walkabout uh, in college. And uh, he was only supposed to do it for a year. And he managed to keep doing it for at least a second year. So we'll see how long that goes on. Uh, he is new to things, new to a lot of things, including eating a lot of stuff. So if you've got salad, he'll be your friend. Huh. Uh, or not, tips. or he'll bring you a salad. I yeah. assume everybody in the audience has a pocket salad ready. Pocket yeah. Show Who's us your pocket salad. Who's got them? Uh, and then what I, what I so, expect. So what are Ron's expectations? <laughs> and this, I mean, I would love to hear. <laughs> yes, uh, for for his mean, first but... college spring break week experience at the Calvin, beach. I assume Calvin showed him some movies, some spring break <laughs> movies. Oh. Yeah. So uh, Ron's idea of spring break is a lot of uh, bingo and beach blankets and probably singing. So uh, I, hopefully that's what a lot of it's going to be like. A lot of doing this, maybe. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, Finding your special gal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and maybe a surfboard like just stuck in the sand next to him that he can just kind of go like this on. <laughs> That's what Ron thinks spring break is all about. Okay, well, yeah. poor innocent Ron. <laughs> Who would like to go next? I'll go. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Pridgen, and I play Joshua Sawyer, who just goes by Sawyer most of the time. And Sawyer is a young journalism student who's pretty 
principled about things and, and very into like finding the truth and, and finding out what's going on and letting people know about it. He thinks it's like sort of a mission kind of thing. Uh, and he, I think that what he expects from like a college spring break is very like movie college spring break. Like I, I think he expects so like crazy parties and, and just getting drunk all the time and like being out on the beach with cool people having a grand old time the whole time. You, and you I probably wouldn't say it like movies. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he's probably slightly cooler than I am, but uh, it's a little iffy. <laughs> he thinks he is. Yeah, but he doesn't talk like I do. Mm. All right, and that's him. And that's him. All right, we'll jump over to this side of the table. Who, which one I, of you find I, people? I can go, I can go. Uh, hi, I'm Megan Caves, and I play Adelaide Blackwood. Um, and Adelaide is, uh, she's, uh, uh, an eclectic nerd geek. She likes Harry Potter is her big thing. She likes lots of different things. She wants to be a librarian. She just kind of um, is constantly focused on studying. She's, she's a little bit of a mix of Hermione um, from Harry Potter and Willow from Buffy and sort of Belle as well from Beauty and the Beast. So she's kind of this big mix and then her own nerdy crazy thing. Um, and yeah, I think she I think she actually thinks of spring break much like Sawyer does because it's kind of it's so much in media, and there's this huge big picture of spring break being, you know, like crazy, everyone's drunk, and just on the beach, and they're going insane, and they're probably in Mexico or somewhere like that. And I think she thinks very much the same, so she's kind of like, okay, I want to really experience spring break the way I'm supposed to, but she's also a little intimidated because that's not really like how she works, but she's, she's still gonna try, and she'll probably go way overboard on, you know, like, I don't know, dressing to spring break, if that's possible. I don't know, things like that. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And then last but not least. Hi everybody, I'm Gaurav Gawadi and I play Calvin Everett Jr. Uh, he is a 19 year old, I think at this point, uh, African American student and he is uh, one of those rich kids who thinks he's too cool for school because he literally is too cool for school, right? Is, can is you guys he? agree to that? They can agree. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, he's, he dresses very fashionably. He likes to spend a lot of money on uh, alcohol and just fun instead of necessities, just fun things. Um, and he thinks spring break is gonna be him being not sober at all the entire time, riding in somebody's Jeep Wrangler, um, going to several wet t-shirt contests and judging them probably. Um, do people judge those? I don't know how those work. Uh, I clearly, I'm not as cool as You Calvin. can always sit in silent judgment of a white t-shirt contest. <laughs> but isn't that just creepy? <laughs> yes, very. He's, he's not that, he's okay. not doing that. He's gonna, very vocal about it. Uh, also, it's creepy better? sometimes. Oh, oh, it's yeah. better, <laughs> being part of the audience is better. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's Calvin. Okay, all right, great. So that is who we are playing with. And before we jump into the game, let us go ahead and flip this around. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do Adelaide Blackwood mm. has the cursed hindrance. So right. every session she has to draw a card and we're gonna figure out how her family curse is manifesting itself this week. So let's see what you got, Adelaide. I hope it's, I hope I get an extra Benny for my curse. I don't today. think that's in there. <laughs> Come on, it Clint, no, Clint, please. It's an ace. An ace, I don't know if you've drawn one of those yet. At least not on this card, on this table. Stinky? No, it's no. not. Uh, this is a new one for you, so, so listen up. Okay. Unnatural aura. <gasps> Normal animals within six inches of the character must make a fear check with failure causing them to be panicked. <laughs> so if there's like a shark attack, this is gonna be way useful. <laughs> Creepy or unusual yeah. animals are inclined to the character. The so, aura has no so effect never mind. <laughs> on creatures without animal level smarts, though the Dean determines how NPCs react to the behavior of animals to the character. So for some okay. reason this week, Adelaide, as soon as you left East Texas University and headed out to where you guys are going, <laughs> uh, every, everything just sort of seemed a little bit weird. Whenever you guys would stop at a rest stop, all the birds would just leave. <laughs> and then like one weird bird came yeah, over. <laughs> just one one-legged bird would just hop over and start it's, nuzzling his head against your leg. It was like leg. sideways, and I was like, oh. Yeah, um, and that was the first in, uh, just sign for you that something weird was going on, and that's just kind of persisted over the uh, couple of days that you guys have already been spring breaking, so I'm excited to see how that plays out. Yeah. This is the anti-Cinderella uh, curse. <laughs> Snow White. Huh. Yeah. She's kind of the Cinderella, Cinderella for weird Cinderella. animals, though. Yeah. All right, so now that we've drawn the curse, I'm going to hand out Benny's, yeah. but 
we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh -oh. Because we do not have extra credit points for subs or any of that kind of thing, I am actually going to have to award you bennies <gasps> during oh! gameplay, like we're playing a real game of Savage Worlds. And for that, I would like to extend to all of you a tiny bit of GM influence. What I would like, if you guys are up to it, anytime you see one of these guys do or say something that you feel is just exceptionally worthwhile, exceptionally either helpful or funny or supportive or weird, whatever, if you will all shout out Benny, I will award them a Benny. Do not abuse this power. <laughs> do it. This is not to be used for minor interactions that have no bearing on anything. Only if you feel that this is something, and if I hear, if I hear a quorum of, of a Benny chorus, I will award a Benny. What's, what is a quorum yeah, can here? Yeah, a sample. The, yeah. One, one person shouting it out very enthusiastically will satisfy as a quorum. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, cool. All right, but before we do, before like, we get into any of that craziness, 53 binnies pretty quickly. <laughs> nice. I got Tyler. In the I reserve audience, the so right to take that offer off the table. We also get to yell, right? No. Oh. <laughs> Benny. Yep. Benny. <laughs> Benny, please. Ron to Gus Stevens. Yes. You are starting with three Bennies. Thank you. You are still starting with four because we haven't taken finals yet. Hooray! <laughs> Like the ghost of Gabriel is just yeah. hanging there. You get more. Three bennies for Adelaide Blackwood. Three bennies for Calvin Everett Jr. And Thank I you. am starting with one benny for Ichia. One, one two, Ichia. three, four. All right. All of that stuff is out of the way. We have all of our things set up. We are ready to go. So that means students, class is in session. Oh. Spring break class. Woo! 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 Spring break. That's spring right. Spring break. You guys have all, as a group, made it down to Galveston, Texas. The Gulf of Mexico, yes. Texas's best attempt at a beach getaway. Sure, the water isn't so much blue as it is always a really muddy, sort of off-smelling brown. And sure, it's uncomfortably warm in the water, which gives rise to all sorts of massive jellyfish migrations that make swimming very uncomfortable, if not outright dangerous. And sure, there's a lot of seaweed and just a persistent kind of rotten fish odor that hangs over the town, but it's charming. And they're doing their best attempt to make it a spring break week to remember. There's a huge area of the beach that has been cordoned off for a giant college free for all spring break party. They've got DJs, they've got drinks. They are only very loosely checking anyone's identification. Even the police are sort of backing away a little bit from this because, man, Galveston depends on this level of tourism <laughs> to keep themselves afloat. Because Lord knows people are not going to go there if they have any other choice for a seaside getaway most of the rest of the year. And I apologize to anyone who enjoys Galveston a lot <laughs> or is from there. I live there. Oh! I'm very sorry. Shout I award out to Galveston. you a Benny. <laughs> You're not off. Okay, all right. Um, that is where you guys, where you guys have been for the past couple days. It is uh, Wednesday of your spring break, uh, which means already everything is in full swing. You guys came down as a group, not just the four of you as the study group, but also your roommates came with you. One, yes. oh, one big no. trip, everyone together. <laughs> And we are going to start off down on the Wait, beach. Wait, all our roommates? All of your roommates. Oh, that's awkward. I know. <laughs> uh, we're going to start off down on the beach. The music thumping. Everyone dancing or hanging out on their beach blankets. Uh -huh. uh, drinking. There are, there are kegs around. There are wild antics. There are games of chicken being very flirtatiously played uh, in the shallow water. Everyone is having a great completely uh, intoxicated spring break time. Did Lauren come? Did Lauren come? No. Lauren Aww. did not come. Lauren is doing a, uh, uh, Lauren, you're, you're talking about your, 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 um, Girlfriend at this point. Oh, at this point, yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, we've made it official. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Lauren is enjoying a nice, quiet spring break with her family. Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tradition they have. They go up to a cabin in the Pacific Northwest oh. for, uh, for spring break. Her family's way better than mine, so I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But all the rest of your roommates oh, are here. Back. Yeah. But before we get to where they are, what are you guys doing down at this beach party? Where do we find you? 
on day three. And, and first things first, I feel like you guys have definitely been drinking yes. the night before. Oh, so absolutely. let's get a bigger roll at a minus two to see if you are at all hungover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to join, I'm going to let anyone else, because Ooh. even if you don't have this hindrance, uh, it has been three days into spring break week, so if you have been drinking or letting yourself go at all, I'm going to also have you make a bigger roll yeah. at a minus two. So Ron probably should, because Ron. he's the heaviest well, drinker. Too, too much, much salad. Juice. I've been <laughs> drinking the water at Galveston. Galveston what? So. <laughs> he's dead uh, ocean. Bigger minus six? Yeah. <laughs> that's oh not, my that's goodness. Probably. Um, yeah, no, I think Adelaide's really, she's like, okay, I have to do spring break right to, to see what it's like. So I think she's definitely All been right. trying to keep up with them. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. All right, let's see where you're at. Okay. Okay, wait, which die do I roll? It's for bigger. This? Bigger? Come on, bigger. come on. Wild guy. Oh, I got a four. That's not enough. Let's give it a reroll. Okay. Uh, you're gonna spend although I'm kind of like, it. I'm kind of thinking if I'm not hungover, I haven't been having a good enough time. That's fair. All right, here's a Benny minus, already. Minus Yay. two. You're also going to use a Benny. All right. I got a four. You got a four? Oh, All right. Really? My minus two. Yeah, I aced it. Wow. Congratulations. You are not hungover, Adelaide. I'm super yes. keeping up with okay. them. I got a four. I'm good. You got a four as well. I got a seven total, so I'm good. All right. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So um, it, it's it's like the magic of spring break has has extended itself out to all of you. You feel your your tolerance for alcohol and also obnoxious behavior from strangers has been <laughs> just raised all the way up to its maximum level. You feel like you can you can drink and hang out with anyone. You are you are all but invulnerable. You're young. You're having a great time in the sun, and you're gonna live forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spring yeah. break. What are you guys up to today? Uh, Where do we find you on the beach? Uh, you said there was a dance floor? There's not a dance floor so or much as like the whole entire beach. like beach area that's cordoned off for this party okay. is one giant mosh pit. Okay, I'm probably off to the side trying to pick up a girl <laughs> that's uh, like wanting to dance but hasn't like found someone on the floor. I'm like, hey, come on, let's go dance. And I'm probably talking to him and telling him about that convention I really wanted to go to, but he wouldn't yeah, let me go to. So I'm gonna tell you about how cool it is. It's called Gen Con. Yeah. And then and you go and there are like games everywhere that you can play. It's really the, fun. I actually you liked the LARP. This, I think you would like it. Yeah. You just have to try it no, at some this point. This cool this is my friend Addie. She uh she goes to school with me. She, we're oh, not hi. together. She's just a friend. Oh, oh no, I oh, have yeah? a girlfriend. More of like an acquaintance. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah, no, it seems like you guys have a lot to talk about. Have though, you ever so. been to no, Gen no, Con? I, uh, I don't know what that is. Or No, I don't either, so maybe we should go and you could talk. Oh, no, no, it's cool. I actually, I think uh, I think uh, my, my friend, uh, Bever oh, Be yeah, oh, no, I see. I, I have cheese calling. We have a, a signal thing. There's nobody waving I'll be at back. You. Eddie, what the? Eddie, you are like. There wasn't anyone waving at her. You're like goddamn sex poison or some shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what? Because I. Were you trying to? Were you, I mean, eventually, sometimes oh. you talk and it leads to something. I'm, I only got like three days here, so I make the most okay, of it. I'm sorry. I mean, but you know, like, they'll. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, she doesn't probably live in, in like, near you, so. That's the whole point. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't. Okay. Uh, you make I'll, you make some mistakes, or you make some cool relationships, and you come back next spring break, and you meet up again. A love story happens, or not? Who knows? That's how. That's that's. Yeah, just watch a movie or something. I, I'm just I, saying I, that's a possibility, but not if you're talking about nerd conventions the whole time. What, it, okay. Does it seem like a good time to bring up nerd you conventions? You like the LARP? I'm just saying you like. Stop saying I like LARP. Damn, <laughs> okay, sex poison is what I'm talking about. You met like girls there that you seem to like. Yeah, and we talk, but we, they ain't here, so let me do my thing. <laughs> Adelaide, yeah? give me a notice roll. Okay. Uh, ooh, I aced it, again. Nice. Um, that is a 11. An 11? An 11. Success with a raise. So uh, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up in a, a slightly unpleasant way, which can only mean one thing. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Barrett, Calvin's uh, delusional YouTuber wannabe roommate, is right behind you, just standing right over your shoulder. Are we, uh, Barrett, listen, oh I thought God. you were going to be my wingman, dude. Uh, yeah. I, I'm out here, like, flying solo because I thought we were going to be, like, helping each other out, and it's yeah. not like you need help, so, like, what are we, oh, what so are we listen, doing? No, listen to me, man. You know who the best wingmen are? Women. So why don't you take Addy? To wingman for you. <laughs> I, I, I can solo, I you know. Have a book. Straight up. Yeah. No. Straight up. Think about it, man. I have a book to uh, read it. If I don't read it, it's a now, wingman book. It's a pick. No. Oh, it's that no, pickup no, artist pick book. Artist book. That's okay, the one. Great. Harry okay. Potter. Listen, I've heard a lot about peacocking. Can you tell me yes. more? Yes. <laughs> 
So what I what I understand is I'm supposed to like dress or act outlandishly, which I feel like is going to be difficult for me. So maybe you and I could like talk. And he just kind of grabs you forcefully by the shoulder and pulls you aside. I, I feel like I feel like we have a lot to talk about. I'm going to tell you so much about about all the conventions I've ever been to. Boss so is poison. What are your thoughts on negging? <laughs> uh, and as oh. Barrett as Barrett is taking Adelaide away, uh, Loralee, Adelaide's. Uh, Daria-esque roommate sidles up to you, Calvin. <laughs> this place is, uh, oh shit. This place is pretty lame. Uh, I think it's kinda cool. Like, it's music, some drinks. You, you get a drink, like? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like light beer, so. <laughs> oh. I mean, they might have some, like, daiquiris or something. Uh, yeah, what? virgin daiquiris. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, it's, like, really loud here. I mean, you, you kinda knew coming here what was gonna happen, so, like. <sighs> I mean, like, I knew. But my therapist says I should try new things, put myself outside of my comfort zone. So okay, here uh, I am. Well, why don't uh, why don't we go on the dance floor and see if we can make some friends? I just got out of a very intense relationship with Sawyer. Oh. You might remember. Yeah. Um, so so I'm not ago. really looking for anything else right now, Calvin. I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Yeah. Cool. But I'm just kind of like trying to work on me right now. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to see if you were having a good time. You know, I'm checking in like friends do. Oh, yeah. No, I don't mean we could like me and you. I just meant like. Cool, I'm going to go circle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if the two of you are engaged in that way, uh, where do we find uh, Ron and Sawyer? Are you together? Are you separated? What's going on with you two? I think the two of us are probably hanging out. Maybe we're kind of uh, going around some of the uh, local like shops or restaurants and like trying to find something to eat. Okay, so like right off the beach, uh, there's a couple of like Bob's Surf Shack and Burgers and that kind of stuff uh, that have all kinds of spring break promotions. Wildly, wildly crazy promotions. Like if you show your student ID, you get 10% off a beer. Whoa. You know, like they're going all out. Oh as much boy. As, as much as they can afford to do. Uh, and Dennis is also hanging out with you guys. Right. Uh, that, this is your roommate, Dennis, of course. Uh, Dennis is, seems to be kind of just stuck to run uh, this, this whole time. He's sipping on his water bottle and, and seems completely out of his element, so he's just kind of been tagging along. Sawyer, has, uh, Sawyer did not bring his French press to this trip, so he's had like a quietly growing headache the entire time. <laughs> that makes sense. That he doesn't attribute to, uh, caffeine, like, to uh, coffee addiction, but definitely is. Okay. Uh, and he's been going around trying to find anywhere but a Starbucks to get coffee and has, has not had a whole lot of luck. Starbucks again, huh? <sighs> yeah, you know, it's not good. It, it isn't good, but when I walked by, there was this smell and it just like, everything felt a little better for a moment, you know? Yeah, we've, we've had this conversation a couple times already. Yeah, it's <laughs> just, it's been on my mind. <laughs> I can, I can tell. Uh, so, uh, what's the plan? Are we getting uh, food or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. But if you're, uh, you know, if you don't, if you need something now while we, while we try and find something, like I, I packed a few. Oh uh, no, I'm good. Uh, it's really hot outside, and um, you're wearing full pants, so uh, I, yeah. I think it might be a little too humid uh, for uh, human consumption. Yeah, Ron, I've actually been meaning to ask you. I, I didn't bring it up because I wasn't sure if the, the like polo shirts and stuff were like a cultural thing or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know you can wear different stuff to the beach, right? I don't want to. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, we're, we're kind of taking baby steps as far as uh, fashion forward goes. Sure. Uh, we watched <laughs> one episode of Queer Eye, and I felt like he was going to start like crying. Uh, so <laughs> we, we're kind of backing off from that. OK, uh, I'm just saying you might be a little more comfortable. because. But hey, you do you, Ron. You seem to always kind of have it figured out and that sort of thing. The, the Queer Eye guys are really nice, though. <laughs> they, they are really nice, right? I mean, when you're ready, we can watch some more, and they have a, a lot to teach. They had a thing about shaving. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's good tips. It's good tips. This is fun. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we all did this. Yeah, me too. OK, uh, I'm just going to eat a little bit of salad now. <laughs> And we'll, 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 we'll find a place. The place that was yelling at us and calling us names, they wanted us to eat there, are you sure? 
Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a theme restaurant, and the theme is everyone there is just a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of negging? <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, thank you. That's a good callback. Thank it's you. Good. I entirely agree. I will give you a Benny for that callback. Thank you. You right, mean so what you, Calvin does? Yeah. <laughs> no. So you guys are walking around trying to find uh, some, somewhere to eat where they won't yell at you and uh, insult your masculinity. Um, and uh, you guys are, is, is anyone else currently drinking right now? Does anyone have a drink in their hand right now as they're walking around? Calvin, that Probably. Uh, you're working on coffee right now. Coffee, you're in recovery mode. Because I'm, I'm trying to emulate what everyone else is doing. Okay, all right. And then, uh, Ron, I'm guessing. I got water. All oh, right, great. All right. It's so probably bigger than this, though. It's probably a, a you know. A gallon of water. A gallon Someone's of water. Like, literally a gallon of water. As you are, as you are walking around, there is a, uh, a couple of people. There's a, a woman, a very, a very pretty young woman, wearing sunglasses and a, a, a very a, um, a tank top that does not leave a lot to the information that proudly proclaims Dirk's Bar and Grill. And then there's a guy walking around with what looks like one of those igloo drink dispensers attached to his back, and he has a hose in each hand. Uh, we're doing shots. Who wants shots, guys? All right, I got, I got Barry over here. He's going to give up shot. Anyone want shots? Just take it right uh, out of the... Yeah, right here. All of us. All Dirk's, of us. Bar oh, yeah. Dirk's Bar and Grill. Dirk's Bar and Grill. Come check it out later Wait. on tonight. Sorry, I might have missed it. Are we all back together? Uh, I'm going to assume yes at this point. Oh, boy. Trying to, get, uh, trying to get some food and get everybody lined up so you guys meet back up just in time for shots. Is yeah. this, Who do, wants shots? Yeah, I, think, hey. I think we've got blue ones. Uh, blue down for ones. shots. Yeah, yeah four, four of them, and then Addie's going to have two of those. All right, take I a knee, everybody. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we okay, go. Uh, here so, we go. Okay. All right, uh, so you're all going to do shots from this igloo cooler mounted on Barry's back. Yeah. yeah. Except maybe except, Ron, except right? Ron. Dennis, Ron. though, will, will, will take my shot. Oh, Dennis okay. will? Wait, uh, do I still have to do two? I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm good. I'm going to no? say I had too much blue yesterday, so I'm, I'm trying to What's I'm the blue? tolerance break. Blue is uh, tasty. Tasty, okay. Tasty. okay, okay, all right. Anyone who's doing it and isn't a total nerd, just uh, kidding, just kidding. Uh, take a knee, cool, take so a knee, fancy. here we go. That's take a knee. Okay. All, right, all right, Barry's just gonna hook this tube so, into your mouth. Hose? Yeah. What, uh, how is this oh, such a hook? There we it's go. Right. Don't worry, we sanitize it. And let her fly, Barry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need <laughs> another vigor roll at a minus two as all of a sudden some sort of warm, very sickly Ew. sweet burning liquid invades wow. your mouth. Why yeah, it spring break. Yes, you can re-roll. Minus two? Yes. All right, well, let's give it a Benny reroll. All right. Woo. I, I have failed miserably. You failed miserably. I failed, but I not quite roll. miserably. Okay. I got a three, so. Regardless of how miserably you failed, and despite how warm and sickly sweet the blue is, uh, you do feel it going straight to your head. You guys yeah. are definitely feeling a little bit of a buzz that is going to Oof. impair you what just a bit. Is in that. Do you want it too, Calvin? Uh, All right, we got two hoses, and I right. heard someone say they want a double barrel. No, no, Addie's gonna do it. Down on your knees, no, buddy. Here no, we I'm, go, uh, Barry. You know what? What let about it fly. Yeah, I'll do it. And someone Barry picture, all but just forces the yeah. hoses into okay. your mouth cool. as he turns the Hang nozzle on. on his igloo. Give me a bigger roll, Calvin. Okay. Don't worry, this is fun. You're enjoying it. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it yet, but let's see if I. And you said mice too? Yes. Uh, yeah, I didn't make it. All right. <laughs> you are also riding the blue, Why Calvin. You are feeling, uh, you're feeling I mean, the effects. Blue. It Ugh. almost tastes like at one point the igloo cooler was full of solidified jello shots. Oh. But in the, uh, in the fun summer heat, they have all melted into a warm, watery, Kool Aid style substance. Like a so. slurry of sorts? A slurry is an excellent way of phrasing cool. it. Um, it, it. That was disgusting. At least you couldn't taste the alcohol, right? Remember, I mean, guys. I don't like what I tasted, but. Dirk's Bar and Grill. A We're going to be glasses. here uh, open up all week. If you bring in your student IDs, you guys get 10% off your first appetizer. All right. Yes. So check us out. Check us so out. 10%'s good. I know. Yeah. I know. We've pulled out all the stops. Oh God, All right, like, we got a lot of blue to deliver. We'll see you guys around. Come on, Barry. You should call it something else. It, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, they can't call it anything yeah. else. Because it's, it's not you, an actual drink. Made do you guys need some salad to wash that down? I, you know what? I, I'll take yeah, I'll take a leaf. Actually, that sounds good. Really? I think that sounds <laughs> awful. Oh my God! Do you guys feel really weird now? No, you get you get used to it. Oh, the alcohol. Yeah, that's it. it wasn't very good. You know what? I think the most fun part of this whole trip is what? It's like getting to exult and living the stereotype of college spring break life. Uh, Have you had anything to drink? 
No, I'm trying to work on me. You, you, so you don't drink when you work on you? I'm not my best self when I drink, Adelaide. Okay. Yeah, no, ain't nobody got a drink. They don't want to. Oh, no. Cool. I'm uh, and, you not know. saying that. I just, you're, I can't tell. I, I think you're right, though, about the spring break thing. I mean, it's like, it, it's spring break created movies about, like, the college spring break experience. And now we're all just, like, trying to trying live, to live those up movies. To the expectations that we have from those movies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you can, like, act a certain way, and people just see that as the expectation. Right, uh, I know. And, oh like, my... that's exactly what I'm thinking, too. I just I, feel like I we're agree. totally vibing on this right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 I like uh, this shirt, uh. by the way. That's a, that's a good look on you. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Like, not a lot of guys have the confidence to wear pink. And... Well, I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Thanks. It is yeah. pretty cool. Uh -huh. uh, are you guys like friends now? Oh boy, <laughs> we're we're just we're, we're trying, trying to heal a, a relationship. Cause like you like said a lot of shitty things about him, <laughs> and vice versa. Okay, Not well, just, uh, uh, all right, Adelaide. Like a, a, a lot of people said like stuff that people regret, but right. you know we we don't want to be like one of those like groups, the exes that always like talk crap about each other and, and make everything bad in retrospect. Like, I, I just, I, I don't think that's what we want, right? We've been talking a lot. Oh, that's, but that's what I, I was just noted. I was acknowledging that you aren't behaving like you were. All right, right hold, hold up, hold up. Spring break ain't about talking or feelings or regrets. Okay, it's a little about regrets. We'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> but for right now, we're gonna party, right? Uh, I thought that's, what was the blue? Is that, that was, the blue? Yeah. That that's, was not, it seemed like the party is starting because of the, the blue stuff. The blue was not party. We that's not a party. better party. This oh, party is in here now. Yeah, all right, Addie's had a little much. <laughs> Which is great, like, it's cool. Yeah, sure. You told me to do two of those. You're my hero, way to go. I, no, you did two of them, yeah. and I did one. We're both heroes, I, yeah, <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. So, you guys want to go go to Dirk's or whatever? Or uh, somewhere else? No, like, I wouldn't touch that place with a 10-foot pole. All right, so Why? everybody except her going to Dirk's. <laughs> well, I, like, don't, I thought we were going to, like, hang out on the beach for a little bit and have some fun, and Ooh. then, like, maybe later on we get some food. What yeah. time is it? Uh, at this point, it's getting uh, later on in the afternoon. We're past, we're past the lunch hour. Uh, we're, we're hitting late afternoon beach time, so everyone is uh, sunburned and very exhausted and super dehydrated, but they're still going. Super strong. Calvin, is this were is this how early we were drunk yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. okay. Look, Ron and I, uh, me, Ron and Dennis, kind of got food a little late, like for lunch. So let's just hang out on the beach for a while, yeah, right? Let's hit the water. Let's get in that water, right? Or like yeah. maybe later on, I brought some stuff for s'mores, so we could maybe like find a campfire and see if people are interested in us bringing along a bag of marshmallows, oh, graham crackers. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like an amazing idea. It's like a spring break potluck uh, on the beach. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds cool. Okay, and then like also real food. What? Yeah, girls gotta eat, right, Rumi? Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I just like, like, dinner food, because, like, it, something's gotta soak this uh, up. Yeah, speaking of Rumi, anybody seen Barrett? Because I gotta keep an eye on No, so I just got good. away from him. Yeah. Don't, well, don't. I, I'm sorry about you, that. I, I, you, yeah. I'm your me off. hero. Say that. I'm. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm Calvin. not stupid, yeah. just drunk. Give me a notice roll. <laughs> All right. I'm not stupid, just. Uh, I got a five. A five. One success. Again, as you're as you're hanging out on the beach, talking to everyone in a cluster, uh, you just feel a strange sort of elect electricity in the air, an apprehensive air just sort of comes around you, and all of a sudden you feel hands on your waist, pulling down on your oh. on your bathing suit, pants. Oh, you tie oh, it tight you know? again. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude, oh. You gotta stop tying it so tight, dude. That's not fair to me. What do you mean not fair? It's not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me, man. Right, but I, it's like it ruins the joke. I just told all these people I was gonna pants you in front of Don't everyone. Tell people to pants. No, 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 no. Everybody, everybody, uh, gather in, gather in. Just gather close. No, Just make it look gonna... nonchalant. I learned uh, a vocab word. Come on in, come on in. Okay. What? So uh, be real cool. Look over my shoulder. You see those those two fly hotties. Those girls. And that one dude who like looks okay in a tank top, right back there behind me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Looks like he works out. Okay. It, I, I thought the same. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to uh, that one Kendra. She's the blonde that like won't make direct eye contact with anyone, or maybe just me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she can't see your eyes. You're wearing sunglasses. Goofers. Yeah, but like she just like wouldn't look at my face. Um, but check it out. Check it out. Seems like 
they got word of like a super exclusive lagoon beach party. It's like, it's like a couple miles south, but they've got a van and they're trying to get like some cool people together to go hang out. There's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight. And they said they fa they've got this cool secluded little lagoon place that like only locals know about with like a platform out on the water where we can like hang out and party and drink and watch the meteor shower and like, I don't know, maybe uh, introduce ourselves to some out of town friends, if you know what I mean. Okay. Like uh, we'll yeah. maybe right. get a little close and personal with some people that we don't know. Okay, yeah, you we're, we're, I mean? we're understanding what you're like, saying I here. I am fully expecting to press myself against someone else yeah. in a totally no. consensual way. No, no, we, we, right. we, are, we are following Barrett. All right, can you give me a second? Can we do like an inception huddle with just us four? Uh, okay, oh, is this like a, like a, oh, right, like a group A thing? Yeah, All right, so uh, Dennis, Laura Lee, we gotta go stand over here while they have like a huddle again. <laughs> but like, make it quick, okay? Because they need an answer now. They only soup's, have so much room in the van. Soup's quick, soup's quick. All, All right. right. I like so, meteor showers. Yeah, okay, cool. She sold, great. Ron Sutherland, I hate to say this because Barrett found it, but that does sound pretty cool. Okay, all right, I was doing this huddle to convince y'all, but it seems like you're on board already, so my work is done. Yeah, what about you, yeah. Ron? No, I'll, I'll, uh, do they have food? Oh, that's, yeah, I was thinking that, like the meteor, I like the meteor shower, but like I get is... We can order some pizzas, they don't, I'm sure they got food. To a lagoon. Yo, Barrett, they got food? What? They got food? <laughs> what? They got, the do... music's really loud, bro. Barrett. I can't hear you from out of the huddle. Barrett, do they have food? Uh, hold on. Guys, I'm not even sure he actually knows Do you about guys have thing. food? <laughs> do you have food? Okay, wh we why did we ask Barrett to do this? I don't know, I I'm sorry. <laughs> One of them nodded, so I think yes. Cool, thanks man. You got yeah, it. Can I come food. back yet? Uh, one sec. Are, are, are we entirely sure they didn't think Barrett was offering them food? <laughs> no, we're not. So, I mean, that's another reason we gotta go is to make sure he doesn't press himself against somebody, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, and uh, yeah, we should be there just to supervise and uh, take over and party. Let's do it, Snow's awesome. Right, you're gonna yeah. party. Yeah. 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 Gonna party. I don't want to press myself up against anyone. Yeah, no, you don't have to do You don't that. have to, but the music is just bumping and you don't. feel like a good, don't this is that I, like, rhythm thing you were talking rhythm. about, where it exactly. gets you. Remember in Vegas, you went to that club? Yeah, you said the rhythm was going oh to get God. me. Ron's got some moves, y'all. He was Benny? surprisingly good at DDR. Yeah, yeah. I'll give, I'll give him a Benny for having the rhythm come after him. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a dad joke. All Thank right, you cool. very much. I right. mean a Ron joke. Yeah. All right, we going. Break. Cool. Bear, yeah, we in. Like, seriously? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I like meteors. Dennis yeah. Lorley, they actually said yes. Okay, cool, uh, give me one second. I'm just gonna like go over and let Kendra and Deborah and Hunter know what's up. Hunter, and then yeah. like, I'll, I'll be right back with the deets. Cool, man. Oh we my God, I, I can't actually believe this is happening. Like, yeah. all, right. all of us are gonna hang out. It's gonna be great, man. Like, we're gonna all hang out together. Like, you guys aren't just gonna like leave and go do like a thing on your all own right. and we'll be like, where did the car go? All right. Yeah, oh. Well, you never know what the night's gonna bring, right? Yeah, all right, cool. cool. All right, be right yeah. back. How many people are going to this lagoon? Uh, sounds like a eleven. Yeah, eleven so far. Thought maybe there'd be more, but yeah. okay. It's cool. More the merrier, right? Yeah. I yeah. hope there's not more blue there, though. Hey, maybe you should have some water because I don't know how okay. long you're gonna last. Mm -hmm. uh, now that uh, Barrett has called us the A team, I like to imagine that the three roommates go off on small adventures, <laughs> accompanied by the ghost of Kyle McConnell, my roommate. <laughs> It's yeah. mostly stuff to like find someone's lost shoe. <laughs> <laughs> they have a whole little collegiate mystery solving club going on. Coming soon, fall, saving throw show, yes. ETU, B team. B team, <laughs> B team. Uh, so is there anything that you guys want to get together? Uh, anything you want to pick up or, or, or get prepared before you head off into this random stranger's van to yes. head to a secluded location? Yes. Good point, hatchet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, you brought your hatchet. No, to I didn't break? bring my hatchet. Of course not. Honestly, though, Maybe I probably would have brought the taser. Oh, no, taser. Yeah. Machine gun. Um, also, um, she brought all of her school books in case she needed to study, and she oh, has one on astronomy. Whoa. She has one on astronomy. Yeah, and just you know, general. You brought so a school book on astronomy to spring break. Yes. I will give you a Benny for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I think probably. Uh, Calvin and Sawyer will probably acquire some alcohol of some sort, Oh yeah, we right? can't go there dry, yeah. Like, yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta bring some stuff. Don't we gotta you know, bring some. We could also bring a pizza. 
Yeah, we'll get a pizza. Okay, oh, all right, face. right, uh, and salad. Okay. <laughs> pizza Has Ron salad. had a salad from a pizza place yet? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what I was wondering. <laughs> I feel like he. At well, we've gone to Pizza Barn a few times. Right. I feel like, yeah. and I tried pizza once, and that didn't work out. And so probably he's tried the, the salad there to, yeah. And it's, it's serviceable. It's adequate. Yeah. Yeah. He he. I think he has gone back and like discussed it with the people back there, like the <laughs> line cooks and stuff, and just been like, hey, I don't want to like interrupt what you're doing, but <laughs> really busy you, dinner shift. Could you use a kale, maybe? <laughs> How did you get back here? I, service. The door was open, so. Okay, yeah, you? but that's really for us. Uh, so, service, please. Um, yeah, thanks. But we'll take your notes to heart. Uh, but this is really for employees only. Maybe just chopped cucumber. Wait, did you I'll wash just your do, hands? I'll do. Yes, of course. Please, I, I need to ask you to leave. <laughs> okay. Please, service. Oh my God! Please get order out. up. <laughs> Don't do it. He doesn't work here. <laughs> Benny. Okay, Benny. Um, so, you guys are going to get pizza and salad, and the two of you are trying to get beer? Yes. And you're how old again? Uh, 19, I did say that. Yeah, so we're that's 19. that's going to be somewhat problematic for it'll you. Be where, where it's pre-established that we have fake IDs. Yes. In the first season. Yes. But I still think it could be an issue. Okay. So, uh, you guys are trying to find the, the closest, most convenient place to get beer, and okay. luckily for you, there is a liquor store uh, not too far away. I mean, they, they, they know their target demographic, and they have the doors open, display shelves out with just bottles of tequila on shelves, only tequila, the cheapest tequila. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so okay. you guys are going to go into AJ's Liquor? Yep. OK. How can I help you? Yo, man, spring break, what's up? Yeah, yeah, spring break. How can I help you? How old does this guy look? How old does he look? Yeah. Like 49? Oh, okay. It's much, much Exactly older. 49. <laughs> Has a shirt that says 49. <laughs> What's I'm up? 40, 49. <laughs> Can I just get a large bottle of uh, Jose Cuervo Gold? Give me a performance roll to pull off this confident tack you're just trying to use. All right. <laughs> Palsy. It's made by the Jose Cuervo Company. <laughs> It's not actually gold. Don't forget your fatigue from being slightly inebriated. He aced it! He aced it! The saving throw die, man. It's an important one. Hooray for the saving throw die. Almost definitely not evenly balanced. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Everybody gets one. No, you guys get one, so you can be excited about it. Um, so that was uh, eight, and then was Minus there any modifier? So just seven. Seven. Cuervo gold. Yeah, I can put that in a bag for you. What about for you, friend? Uh, let me get a bottle of Jack and a <laughs> two liter of Coke. Jack and Coke, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Give me performance. <laughs> <laughs> that seemed weird. That seems like a pretty normal combo of drinks. Uh, not, not to AJ of AJ's liquor. What are the chances that oh he my gosh. Is, is a non-traditional student at ETU? <laughs> Zero percent, I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. But thank you for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, I aced you on aced a D8. It. Yeah. Uh, so 14 minus 113. Jack and Coke. Yeah. Together. Yeah, is that cool? It's an excellent choice, my friend. All right, cool. <laughs> and we'll get some chips and stuff. Too. Man of taste. Chips? Hold on, I'm going to need to see some ID. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good joke. That's a joke I like to do around spring break time. That's just a good one, man. Freak everyone out. You guys seem cool. You cool? Oh, cool as shit, yeah. AJ's is cool, too. Tell all your friends. All right, yeah. You bring your student ID, you get 10% off your first bottle of liquor. Cool. <laughs> This is our first, so cool. We have that 10%. So oh, yeah. Let me see your student ID then. All right. It has your birth date on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I forgot my I feel love. like you, I, I was like, I'm not falling into that trap. <laughs> <laughs> Way to not say anything. Uh, you know what? I, I forgot mine. So I, don't worry about the 10%. Fair enough. You know what? You both seem like stand up guys. I'll go ahead and ring you up the discount anyway. Just don't tell my boss. Oh, shit. I'm just funning with you. That's me. Yeah. I'm AJ. You're AJ. That's right. <laughs> Thought, yeah. All right, so you get your bottle of Jose Cuervo Gold and your bottles of Jack and Coke in the same bag. Neat. Uh, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and uh, you guys take that back and head back to the central group where Barrett is impatiently standing by a van up, up a little bit away from the beach. Where are you going or what? Yeah. Everyone's already in the van. All right, okay. Dennis, Laura Lee, uh, 
Hunt, Hunter, Deborah, uh, uh, Kendra. Kendra. Kendra, yeah, everybody's already in there. All so right. is, is it like three people and then our entire group? Well, yeah, but like they have friends that are gonna meet us there. It's not just us. Okay, cool. Okay. Just making sure we didn't just like some accidentally take over these people. Sawyer, you're bumming everyone out. Get in the van. <laughs> you don't get any of my tequila. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you got tequila? Yeah. Sawyer, I feel like you and I got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's spring break, so I'm willing to accept that this time, Barrett. Hey, secret handshake? Uh -oh. We don't have a secret handshake. Yeah, we do, bro. Remember, we made up this one time when you were like, you were like basically drunk, and we were hanging out, and like Calvin was like, hey, you guys don't have a secret handshake. I was like, we totally do. And it's no, no, now you do me on the back. What the handshake? I, I so wasn't a part look, of it. There are enough nights I don't remember that I can't say for sure that didn't happen, but I'm willing to accept it for now. It's like riding a bike. Dennis, how did they see our secret handshake? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I assume Barrett filmed it at some point and just studied it very intently. That's right. Wait, what? I want to. Can we have a secret handshake? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Wait, mm -hmm. hold on, stop. We're roommates. We should have a secret handshake. <laughs> Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can have one with Calvin. It's no. just it feels awkward yeah, no, that you're doing this no. now. You're with right. Me here. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Let's do our. Let's do a secret handshake. How does it start? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, let's like shake my hand, and and then let's high five over that. Okay. And, and then and then shake this way, and then Maybe high five under. Maybe we can work under. on this later. I'm just like my hands feel really dry. I think it's all the sea air. Okay. <laughs> Benny, all right. <laughs> um, I'll give that Thank to you. you there for for the dean. For the dean. Yeah, yeah, I don't get yeah. awarded pennies. I don't. I can try as hard as I want, but I get these. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll oh, take it. Yeah, boo -hoo. I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? Give it to Calvin. I'll take the pity one. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Benny for that? <laughs> Benny for stealing a Benny, a Benny from Calvin. Oh. And then I'll give a Benny to Calvin. There. Now, right. everyone's had, everyone's Is that how it Benny. works? Can everyone's I just take one of these? No. I don't know. Ron's real sad now. So. <laughs> you guys pile into the van. Uh, you're guessing Hunter is the one driving. All right. Everybody get in, uh, buckle up, all right? Because it's, uh, it's not just a good idea, guys. It's the law. What's up? My name's Hunter. Yo, what's up, Hunter? <laughs> Hi, Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, Barrett was telling me all your names. Uh, he was uh, Ron. Uh, we got Calvin, yeah, right? Yeah, me. Uh, Addy. Adelaide. Ad Adelaide. Adelaide. Or Stinky, I hear they call you. It's Sawyer. No one calls me Stinky. <laughs> uh, so no, come on. insistent on it. Yeah, well, he's an asshole. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> That's uh, true. Hey y'all, are, are, are y'all from out of town? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. East Texas University is where we're from. Well, oh. we're not yeah. from there originally. We're all from okay. different places, but we go to school there. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Deborah. I actually live around here. I just go to community college, but uh, the spring break scene's pretty great here, so. Oh, cool. Well, I guess you'll know the area then. You can kind of show us the best places to go. Well, that's what we're going to do. Uh, this, this lagoon is like really, really like quiet and exclusive. It's like a great place for like a private party. And I hear the meteor shower is supposed to be really great tonight. I was like looking it up on these astronomy forums and uh, everyone was saying like it's going to be a really clear night so we should be able to see a lot of it. I brought my astronomy book that I, in case we wanted to like m look at. Uh, uh, ain't no books on a spring break. No way. Oh, actually like does that have like the up to date um, like tracking for the Perseids? Uh? Oh yeah actually I think it does. Okay, you just have check. to like reference. There's a reference so. That's a real reference I made. You can look it up. <laughs> uh, and there is in, an, another blonde girl who is just kind of like sitting by one of the windows, just uh, staring out with her arms crossed, uh, just sort of listlessly outside as you guys pile in and start buckling up in the van. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really speak to anyone. I'm going to sit next to her. Be like, Yo, what's up? I'm Calvin. Hey. You're Kendra, right? Yeah. That's cool. I like the, I like the shades you got. That's cool. Thanks, I found them. <laughs> well, that's cool. There's like a fun story behind them. You just found them on the beach or something. I was like, my eyes hurt. And my friend was like, here are some sunglasses on the beach. And then I put them on, and here we are. Oh, well, that sounds like you stole them, though. Which is cool, too. Like, that's, that's cool. I'm not a narc. Like, that kid's a narc, though. But 
Not me. So he sort of turns and is like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing are, sneaky. Are you trying to, uh, to ingratiate yourself to Kendra? Absolutely. Then I would like you to give me a role for this. What would you like to do? Would you like to persuade or would you like to put on airs, Calvin? Uh, persuade sounds fine. All right, so give me persuade, okay. but be authentic. Okay. In how I roll? Roll <laughs> authentically. Please, come on. You can do it. Authentic. I was too authentic, almost. I did ace on it, though. You did ace. Nice. Uh, 11. An 11. All right, yeah, that's pretty authentic. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it stealing, right? Uh, possession is nine-tenths of the law, and they were just out there on the beach. Yeah, that, no, I'm, like I said, that's, I'm not narcing. That's cool. They're nice. They look good on you. Maybe they're meant for you, you know? Yeah. Like, you believe in, like, fate, like destiny? <laughs> I didn't before today. <laughs> I'm Kendra. <laughs> Calvin. You're not from here, are you? No. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys start getting friendly in the back seat. Everyone's just, uh, just hanging out and, and quick. sort of getting to know each other. Uh, Hunter seems like a, a really bro kind of dude, but he seems super cool and laid back about it. He actually, he says a lot of things that seem uh, pretty woke for, uh, for the type of character that he seemed to be at first. <laughs> um, Deborah seems very quiet and, and shy and reserved, although she does open up quite a lot when Adelaide brings out her astronomy textbook and starts thumbing through it. And uh, Kendra is now mostly focused on Calvin and isn't really giving anyone else the time of day, despite the fact that Barrett keeps sitting next to her and trying to show her all of his YouTube videos. Uh. Um, as you guys are driving around, uh, you, you, it, it takes a while. You're going several miles away from where you are, uh, where the spring break party is, and you're heading off down uh, along the coast, just following some uh, side roads, and everything's getting a little less beachy here and a bit more hilly and, uh, and like beach grassy, a little more wild, a little less uh, designed and cleared out for, for public use. Um, just so you know, guys, technically, this part of the beach is like a private beach, but like the dude who owns it, I think died. So oh. no one ever uh, like really goes down to like check it out. But like if we see cop cars, we got to split. Okay, cool. he died oh. for like reasons unrelated to this beach, right? I, I assume, I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's like some rich dude. I don't think he even lives here. Okay. I think he was gonna like open up a resort or something, but then he died. Oh. Sounds normal to me. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal. Nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> no, it, it isn't. Right. Yeah, We've had a weird year. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no worries. No worries. We're, everything's cool. It's spring break, right? Yeah, We're spring break. We're just here to have a good time and yeah. unwind. Yeah, yeah, spring break. Yeah. Spring break! At, a, at a dead man's beach. Yeah, okay. Why are you, why are you being weird? Don't be weird. I, I mean, when you... Stevens! What? Keep it together, man. I am totally working on it with Kendra here, and you're harshing my vibe. Are you trying to press up against her? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. Why would you say that? Why would you, why would you say that? <laughs> you told me that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember saying that to you. Yeah, this guy. Uh, Ooh. So many more awkward interactions happen <laughs> like that in the van on the way down. Um, up through the windshield coming up on your left, you see what looks like these towering smokestacks and a giant conveyor belt, uh, this huge, like, fenced-off industrial-looking compound that is totally derelict as, as you're driving up uh, down this road just following the coast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody see this place? This was, like, some, uh, like, like, quarry or something. I don't know. They were, like, digging for gravel. I don't really know how it works, but, uh, like, they were busy, like, right? You could see the smoke from, like, all over the beach, but, like, a week ago, everyone just left. Like, that's going to be costing wait. someone a lot of money. For, like, spring break? Like, why are they like... Maybe. I don't really know. Oh, yeah. Like, cool, do cool. industrial factory workers get spring break? Hey, oh, uh, hey, I hey. Don't hey, know. hey, uh, guys, I, just quick, quick thing. Uh, sorry, we just got to talk about a schoolwork thing we, I, I just remembered. No wait, worries. Real quick. Oh, wait, Turn up the hall? volume. Hey, look. Oh, okay. So, if we find out about, uh... I know this isn't me normally, but if we find out that like there's sudden creepy appearances in that quarry and people keep dying or the ghost of the guy who runs this beach keeps showing up, we should 
not try and go after that. Let's just have spring break. Yeah, no, right? don't, don't even say the G word. We're out of school. Like, that, that stuff stays there, right? Okay. That stuff doesn't but happen But what if here. somebody's, like, in danger and we're the only ones who can help? Look, uh, uh, I mean, for all I know, it, it could just be crazy. You just know how things have been this year. Yeah. And last year. Yeah, right. Yeah, I do. I, but I'm saying, like, you know, we helped then because people were in danger and like, uh, I mean, do you think any of these people know? Like maybe if they know, they can do it. But I'm, I'm just saying, let's not seek it out if we don't have to, I right? Do yeah, okay. 100%, yeah. Okay. And it's probably fine. That stuff probably only happens in that weird, creepy school that we go to. Sure, sure. <laughs> you guys you aren't think thinking so? of doing anything weird, are you? What? No, we are not going to do anything weird. She's like, not a huddle, she heard everything. What? <laughs> well, like, I don't know. Just the weird stuff you guys normally do. Hey, no. You know what? It's spring break. We can do weird stuff we want to, all right? <laughs> okay, just like leave me out of it, please. Yeah, no one's I'm here to relax and have a good time. Yeah. We're not going to do any weird stuff. That what we were talking about. No weird stuff. No, we promise? can do weird stuff if we want I, to. Uh, I, I don't know if I can promise no weird stuff. <laughs> How can I, you not promise? It's your choice. <laughs> I, I promise that I will not actively seek out weird stuff. I'm going to do weird stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna! I feel like we're talking about I'm kind different of, kinds of weird stuff. I'm kind of into weird stuff. Uh, thank you! Um, I meant that in a different kind of way. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Thank All right. you. As you guys are driving past this abandoned industrial complex, swearing against everything and on everything you hold sacred, that you will not do weird stuff, give me a notice roll <laughs> at a minus two. I choose not to. Are you going to focus on Kendra entirely? Yes. That makes sense. Aced Thank it. you. you seven for me. Right a no, seven. Don't notice things. I cover his eyes. <laughs> uh, Eight. Eight. I'm gonna try wow. to roll. At my minus three. Yeah. Nice. You're, yeah. you're trying again, Adelaide. Okay. Oh, I aced it. Uh, it's still a three. Wait, still what? a three when yeah. you aced it? Oh, fatigue. right. I have fatigue. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm still okay. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys just kind of just spare a glance over to the weird industri abandoned industrial complex, but you're not looking at it. You're not gonna do this. Forget it. Forget about it. Ron. Uh, you can't help but be a little bit curious. I don't know how many abandoned industrial complexes you've seen before in your life. Yeah. So you're looking over trying to figure out maybe what the conveyor belts are for and why there's so much smoke if they're only digging for gravel. And you happen to notice what looks like two figures behind one of the chain link fences just watching the road as you go by. You, don't, you can't see them, they're very far off, but it looks like they're dressed in dark clothing and you just see them watching the car as you buzz past. Did you guys, did you see those, the people that were there, the fence? What people? Where? What, uh, fence people? Uh, I mean, if you look, if you look back. Hey, 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 man, man, keep it cool, all right? You know, we're just trying to have a good time. Don't get anybody worked up about fence people or anything like that. <laughs> we're almost there, just like another five minutes and we're gonna be free and clear, just hanging out on a dock in the middle of a secluded lagoon, having a great time. Yeah, awesome. spring break! Awesome, spring break! Hey, spring break! That's spring right, break. oh yeah, that's right. Can I get a spring break? A spring, spring, spring break! break. Right. Spring break. <laughs> hey, I like your style, man. <laughs> you do you. So eventually, after about five more minutes, Hunter was indeed uh, uh, telling the truth. He does know his way around Galveston Island. You guys pull over off the road and follow a sort of like dirt path over one of these grassy hills. And it does open up into what looks like an inlet out from the, the ocean that is an all but entirely surrounded, still looking lagoon. There's a, a little bit uh, out uh, further off into the water where the hills kind of come together and form an almost entirely natural ring that separates this lagoon from the ocean, but there's just a little bit of a passageway that lets out into the open water. And in the very middle of this lagoon, about 200 feet off from the shore, there's a big wooden platform that looks like it's just there with like a, a ladder on the side of it for hanging out in the middle of this lagoon. Um, there is a cooler 
already on the platform that you can see, a big white and blue igloo cooler, and what looks like a, uh, a, a, a stereo of some kind, like just like a portable boom box kind of thing, set up there as well. But other than that, you see no sign of anyone else. All right, guys, here we are. Everybody out. Cool, cool. I guess our, uh, our cool. friends must have gone and done a beer run, so they'll probably be back a little bit later. But hey, looks like the sun's getting ready to go down, so this is the perfect time to swim out to the raft and get this party started All right. before uh, the celestial party starts later tonight. All, All right. right. I'm right. excited about that. Hell yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, I love stars. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah. Barrett grabs your drinks and your drinks and just runs out of the uh, runs out of the van down to the beach. God damn it! I hate that guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on. We've got like a little inflatable raft in the back. We'll just blow that up. We can load the stuff in and just like swim it out to the raft. Oh, cool. oh sure. Sounds awesome. Uh, I guess I should have checked ahead of time. Uh, all you guys know how to swim, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that a skill? It's athletics, so if you have yeah. athletics, you can swim. Yes. Cool. If you don't oh, yeah. have the can't swim hindrance, you can swim. <laughs> okay. Cool, got it. All right, great, because, uh, yeah, that's a really important part of this. Uh, you basically have to be able to swim to get out there, and we don't want to lose anybody today. Yeah, it should be right, fine. Cool. Yeah, you need some help with the raft? Uh, yeah, it'd be great, man. Yeah, uh, I, if you, uh, like, can spell me, my lung capacity's not what it used to be uh, after I got into a really sick snowboarding accident, so... Oh, yeah, uh, I, got it. I, got the, I got the best lungs. I'm good. Let's cool. All right, yeah, cool. man, I'm glad we got you along. Cool. So you guys help out, you're unloading materials from the back of the car, you're helping uh, Hunter take turns blowing up this raft as he wheezes uncontrollably trying okay. to blow it up. <laughs> you guys get this little circular raft, it's more of an inner tube for a child with a bottom to it, and you load some of the drinks and like towels and whatnot in there to keep it dry. And then um, the girls and Hunter start taking their, uh, their clothes off except for their swimsuits underneath and just kind of like piling them up on the beach. All right guys. Let's do this. Let's do it. Everybody in the water, out to the raft. Let's do it. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's go. All right, and you swim out. Uh, the water is uncomfortably warm still, even as the sun is going oh. down over the horizon, but it's, it's still, it doesn't smell quite as bad as it does on the rest of the beach. That's good. And, uh, and it, it, it is kind of nice to be in it, even though it is warm and it's hot outside. It's just nice to be out at one with nature. And we're the only ones here, right? You are the only ones here. Cool. It's just, it's just you guys, your roommates, and these three townies from Galveston just swimming out towards this raft. It takes a little bit of time. Everyone's kind of like hanging onto the raft and just sort of like leisurely kicking their way out there. Uh, and finally, you get over to this, this platform. So it's, you're not entirely sure how it's anchored. You can't really see what goes down uh, below there. But as you get further out, the water gets colder, which to any of you who have spent a lot of time in water indicates to you it's much deeper out here by the raft. Uh, yeah, you don't want to like fall in like we're gonna be using the buddy system Okay, cuz I, I do intend to have some drinks. So just everybody keep an eye on everyone else We don't want a repeat of last year. What okay, what cool. happened? Last no, oh, nothing, nothing nothing. Yeah, don't no wanna, don't don't ask just, Why? No, I not, wanna, no. no, no, it's it's cool uh, someone had a few too many and just like fell over in the dark and it, it, it took us a second to notice. Like, we got him, we grabbed him back okay, up. Good. And like, oh. everything was cool. Right. But okay, I know it's CPR, if like, and Great. first aid. Cool. Just, yeah. yeah, okay, All right. yeah. Barrett, you weren't lying. Your friends are super well equipped to have an awesome time with us. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. I don't think anyone has ever said that in relation to me saying I know CPR. <laughs> so that's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool that Natalie <laughs> knows CPR. Yeah, I agree, that's why I brought her. Oh. That's oh, why you man, brought me? Okay. All right, so you yeah, guys get up on the platform, uh, and everyone's kind of in investigating. Like, Hunter goes over to pull up the, uh, the ice chest and, and put some drinks in there. Oh, oh, it looks like there's uh, already a little bit of beer in here. They must have uh, swung by and stocked up the chest before they left to pick up some more party people. Oh, oh nice. Cool. So they'll probably be back later on well, with some more. Well, we brought tequila and Jack, so. Excellent. We, yeah. Okay, cool. Did anyone bring cups? Uh, yes, I, mean, I did. <laughs> 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 and like a hero, Calvin reaches into the bottom of the inflatable kitty wrap and pulls out the double column red solo cup package that he also picked up at Come AJ's on. Liquor. I'm a pro partier. Come on. <laughs> I know about cups. You think of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. You yeah. come prepared. 
Yeah, I'm real prepared. How prepared are you? Uh, I only have two more bennies, so... <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are you handing me that for? <laughs> Preparation? Wink? I'm not touching that. Okay. <laughs> I got you. So you guys uh, climb up on the platform. Yeah. Uh, Hunter turns on the, the boombox and tunes it to a, a spring break radio station that's essentially playing exactly the same stuff that was going on down at the beach. It's just a, a, a pickup from whatever local radio station was throwing and hosting the spring break party down there. And you guys start passing some drinks around as the sun goes down. Uh, the sky just kind of opens up in all kinds of very nice colors and you can actually watch the sun disappearing over the horizon, which may be one of the first times any of you guys have actually been able to do that. Uh, it is very picturesque. What is everyone doing on the raft? What are you, what, what, is, what is your focal point out here? What fun are you getting into oh, out here? Is, how big is this raft? Are we, all, are we all sitting on this raft? No, like, it's actually much bigger than you thought when you were on the shore. It's about like uh, 15 feet by like 10 feet. It's, wow. a, it's a pretty size big the platform. Stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's, pretty, it's comparable to the size of this stage. Wow, okay. That's You're all in raft. water. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Yeah, just keep treading. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm probably just talking to Kendra, showing her photos on my phone about like where I go to school and just talking about where we're from. Um, okay. Um, while watching the sunset. Give me, pers are you still gonna play it straight? I think so. Gonna I mean, be I'll sincere probably, with her? I'll probably exaggerate a little bit about what I do just to try to impress her. Enough to need a performance role? Sure. Give me perform. <laughs> Give me perform, Calvin, to does, see if you can just seal the deal with Kendra. Does she go to ETU? She does not. <laughs> I aced it on a D8, Woo! baby, so uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. Success with the raise. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, this is where you go to school? Yeah, East Texas University. Uh, oh yeah, I've heard about that place. Oh, like no, the, yeah. uh, the crows, right? You guys are like the crows? Yeah, crows, uh, ravens, but like whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. cool, cool, yeah. cool. Cool. Where do you go to school? Uh, oh, I'm taking a gap year. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm getting like a Pilates certification. Pilates certification. I like to stay fit. Yeah, I, I can tell. You I can look. tell you like to stay fit. I do, yeah. You know, my, my friend Ron, he uh, he taught me a lot of weird martial arts that he knows. And yeah, yeah, he seems cool. Um, so, <laughs> like, what's your deal? Uh, well, like, I, I hope someday I could go to Hollywood, you know, make movies. Oh, yeah? Like Michael Bay movies, you know? I want to be the next Michael Bay. But, like, I mean, no one can be Michael Bay, but I could be, like, try to be Michael Bay. Oh, my God. Michael Bay is my favorite director. What? I have seen, I, I, I own his entire filmography. Oh my God, you were kidding me. Hey, I gotta show you a photo of my car. It is the Bumblebee, you know, from Transformers. What? No way, yeah. show me. Oh yeah, show yeah. me. Yeah. Look, look. And she sidles up like right next to you. She is, she is definitely uh, way closer to you than she needs to be to look over your shoulder at okay. your phone. Okay. And this is going pretty swimmingly for you, Calvin. Sweet. Sawyer hears them both, he prays on Michael Bay and like turns to like almost make a comment and is like, nope, don't need to. <laughs> Benny? <laughs> Someone hates Michael Bay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what are you doing, Sawyer? I think Sawyer has mostly kind of just been uh, sitting on the raft, kind of leaning back, probably doing a couple tequila shots at some point, and just kind of like watching the sky and out across the, the lagoon. Mind if I join you for a tequila shot, Sawyer? Uh, no, I mean, it's here for everybody. I just didn't know if, like, it was here for me. Well, you're part of everybody, so I guess it's here for you, too. Thanks. Um, do you have any, like, salt or limes or anything? I did get limes. <laughs> <laughs> you get limes? Excellent use of this. All yep. right. <laughs> you, do, you do indeed have limes. Oh. Oh, but, like, no salt? Uh, yeah, they didn't have any at the liquor store, and I didn't feel like going somewhere else. Oh. So we can kind of like half do the lick salt lime thing, but just... I've got an idea. Why don't we just dip the limes in the ocean? <laughs> I guess I'm willing... No, no, Deborah, stop <laughs> making that face. It's fine. <laughs> it's seawater. It's... It's, sanitary. It, it, it is salt water here, right? This, that's me out of character asking. It is, yes. The ocean here in Texas is salt water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You want to, like, live dangerously? <laughs> hey, fuck it, right? We've been drinking the water anyway. What? It's the what? same as the ocean. Uh, <laughs> we've been swimming through here. 
Oh, yeah, but I don't like swim with my mouth. It's gonna like get in your system. <laughs> just, oh my god. He just swims of ocean water. <laughs> <while swimming. laughs> I forgot how much fun it was to hang out with you. You have such a refreshing outlook on things. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of nice hanging out again. Can I ask you a question, Sawyer? Yeah. Are you trying to resist getting, letting Laura Lee converse with you or get closer to you after she hurt you so badly freshman year? He is trying to be cool about it. OK. Trying to be yes, cool about he's, it? He's not trying to avoid Laura Lee. He's, he, he really wants it to be like, oh, now we can talk. And that's OK. Then she is going to use a performance role Ooh. on you. Oh, OK. I rolled a six. Pretty good with that. So give me a, an opposed spirit roll. All right. And I'm going to give you an additional minus one to this because of your history with Laura Lee. OK. So minus one for your fatigue, minus one for it being Laura Lee. I, I think, I think that, that also works, since I specifically have an edge, which technically lowers my ability to read things on people I have relationships with. But I think this counts. Yes, mm -hmm. very much so. Uh, I got a, well, I got a four. A four? Yes, because it's minus one, right? Yes. Plus it's not your... going to be to six. Oh, I actually got a three. OK, yeah, that's definitely <laughs> not going to be to six. Uh, I'll reroll it once. You got it? Yeah. Based it on a d8. Uh, OK, so I got a bunch. OK, you got a bunch. <laughs> yes. That's much higher than the six that I mm -hmm. got. I only got six of them. Um, so <laughs> you kind of are picking up on the fact that Laura Lee is sort of trying to worm her way back into your good graces. And you don't quite know if you're ready for that yet. Sawyer. Yes. So you can tell that she is actively trying to get back on your good side. So how you, how you react to that is up to you. What do you think? Should we dip these limes in the ocean and just like go crazy? Uh, well, clock's ticking, Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the ocean thing once, and then we'll, we'll see if crazy happens. I mean, we don't even know if this is particularly good uh, uh, tequila, right? Jose Cuervo gold? <laughs> I think it's like supposed to be OK. <laughs> well, I guess let's find out. Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God, what's in this? Let's not do this anymore. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ron, what are you doing? Uh, Ron is similar to Sawyer, maybe next to Sawyer, or close to Sawyer. Then uh, Dennis is right next to you. Yeah, Dennis is right next to me, and uh, feet in the water, and looking back up, and just going like, <sighs> meteors are portents of Ron to Goth, so yeah. <laughs> if I see them, that might mean that uh, we'll get eaten soon. <laughs> Wait. Anyway, you guys having fun? <laughs> uh, meteors are part of your... Um, well, the Religion? stars, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Ron Tagoth comes from the stars. And so, you know, sometimes so we have legends and things about that. And we study star charts and astronomy. And uh, they tell us what might happen. OK. Pretty neat, right? What, um, what do, me do meteors mean are going to happen? Oh, that just means we're like close to getting eaten. <laughs> but don't meteor showers happen all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, Matt, majestic. <laughs> okay, so you and Dennis are off having a uh, kind of a bummer conversation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's a bummer. Um, Adelaide, mm -hmm. you and Deborah are, mm -hmm. are kind of hanging out, like geeking out about like constellations or something. Or, or what, are, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I think she's definitely doing that. I think she's still trying to make sure she's doing the right spring break thing. So she's doing that, and then she like sees uh, them drinking tequila, and she's like, okay, maybe I should. Do you want some tequila? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Uh, tequila really goes like right to my head. So I, I don't know that I've had it. You haven't had tequila? I'm not, I don't really know, to be honest. It's just like my friends are like, here, drink this, and I do, and maybe with tequila. I'm not entirely sure. OK, well, listen, it can't be any worse than whatever that. <laughs> <laughs> <Betty>? OK. 
Fine, but only because you asked so nicely. <laughs> uh, it kept any worse than blue, you know, whatever it was uh, they were running around you with. You had the blue too? I mean, I think everyone had to. Uh, it was really <laughs> weird. They were real yeah. aggressive with it. They were. I th still feel it in here. Yeah, OK, so maybe we should have some tequila too. OK, yeah, I'll get some tequila. And then as she goes over, she just like pours some. But she also goes by uh, Cal, and she's like, just make sure she's not a Stacy. And then goes back over. <laughs> 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 yeah. Good call back. Yeah, Calvin, it's always safe to make sure that your uh, potential love Thank interest you. is not a shape-shifting monstrosity. So I don't know how you check for that, but just be sure. Um, Adelaide. Yeah. As you go over to, to pour some of the tequila, you, you open up the bottle, and you're, you're, you're just kind of saying that to Calvin and not paying attention, and you drop the bottle cap. Okay. Uh, and you drop it onto the, uh, the bottom of the platform, and it starts to roll towards one of the cracks that leads down to the water. So can I get an athletics roll from you Ooh, to see if yes. you can snatch the bottle cap? Come on, Eddie. Okay. Come on, Eddie. Uh, mm. I got a one. Um, here, let's try it. A one. Yeah, let's back. Benny that. If you fail, you'll be arrested for littering. Yep. I got a one. <laughs> you rolled the exact one, same one more thing. time. It a seems important. Two. Does it? Somehow okay. To catch this bottle cap. Hmm? Uh huh. Hmm. I got a two or a, a three. I got a three. A three, which is a failure. Yep. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it slips out of your hand, and as you realize, Ooh. oh no, it falls down uh, onto the slats and starts to roll over no. towards a crevice, and you you kind of just lean over desperately trying to grab it, just as it plops through into the water below, and and you're looking through the slats, trying to see if maybe it's floating, maybe there's some way you can like reach your hand in there and get the, the, the top of the tequila bottle. You don't know why this is so important to you. It just seems like a party foul majorly. And as you're, as you're looking down there, you kind of reach your fingers down and a single eye just breaks the surface for just a moment. Uh. A human eye attached to a human face that looks gray and bloated somehow, just reaches up uh, it's it's face through the water for a moment and then sinks back below the surface. I need a fear roll from you, uh, Adelaide, please. Okay, that is a spirit. spirit. Okay. Uh, I rolled the wrong die. Um, that's a four. A four. Yes. A four. Yes. Which and that's with your uh, with your drunken fatigue, right? Yes. Okay. So that is a success. So you just. What do you do? Uh, I, I think I, I think it's one of those things where she kind of reacts and then she's like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't freak out because maybe you didn't really just see what you thought you saw. So just hold on for a second. And she kind of tries to look back and see if she can see anything else. And then she thinks, does alcohol make you have hallucinations? I don't know that I've ever read that before. And, uh, and then she's going to come back. And whoever she's closest to, I don't know, she just got tequila. So she's probably closest to Sawyer, right? Yeah, which so, means she's also over by Ron and Dennis. Oh, I mean, you're oh, basically within earshot of everyone on the raft. Well, she doesn't want to be in earshot of everyone. OK. So she's going to probably, she'll go to Sawyer first. If, if, if Ron is close enough, then she'll talk to both of them. But just basically say, so um, first of all, of all, I lost the tequila lid, which I figure we're going to drink it anyway. So that's probably fine. So I figured that would be OK. But also, whenever I lost the lid, I looked down into the water and it kind of looked like there was a dead body that was like actively looking back at me. And then I just want to double check though, because alcohol doesn't make you hallucinate normally, right? Uh, I mean, that's not a thing that happens. So like that was probably real, right? I'm not trying to, I'm not, I wasn't trying to look for anything weird. I really wasn't. Uh -huh. I just lost a tequila bottle lid. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> like, like how sure are you that it was a, a dead body, that there was a dead body floating under the... Thing? I mean, it looked at me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we've seen them now. And I, I slowly take my legs out of the water <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and kind of turn back. Where did you? Oh, it was right here in the like slat area. Ron, like between. Ron, yeah. Is this is this one of the weird things? No, no, no. We're we're, we're not doing any weird things this time. It's whoa, just whoa, 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 whoa! Barrett suddenly like just jumps what? up what? on the platform what? and like oh scat hey, just what, scampers doing, back man? in the water. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? I think something just touched my leg. What? Something touched what? my leg. What was it? It, it? It's probably just a fish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fi like, uh, yeah, yeah. Because fish feel like really cold and they like grab you sometimes. <laughs> Some of them, yes. No, fish don't do that, man. Man, 
Stop freaking him okay, out. Okay, I'm gonna go. I, I'll go to. I'll go over to Calvin now and be like, so Calvin, and yeah. then tell him the exact same thing. I lost the tequila no, lid. No, <laughs> no, that, that's it's fine. It's just right, and we're gonna drink it, right? That's what. Yeah, you do. it's gonna okay. be empty. Yeah, but fine, also, cool. I saw a dead body. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not looking for things. I saw a dead body. I'm okay. just gonna ignore that. Okay, okay, you can't okay. Just I'm just gonna. Hey, uh, uh, I'm just wanna, Adelaide, look, I, I, I'm just going wanna. to check to make sure you're wrong. All right, let's. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying. If I'm. Because okay. it would be great if you're wrong, right? We all agree with that. Uh, uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Guys, what's up? It looks like everybody's uh, a little worked up. Oh, oh yeah, we're having a good time over we here. We dropped the, the tequila, tequila lid. The tequila lid is gone. Oh, no, really? Yeah. yeah. We just have Are you crap. gonna drink any? We still have the tequila. Yeah, but it's like now we can't reseal the bottle. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that means we just gotta drink it all. Woo, spring break! That's the, oh yeah, spring yeah, break! Yeah, spring break! To, so let's not look for it. Okay. Cool. I, I, I'll look for the the bottle cap, but no. but probably won't find it. I'm sure it's not there anymore. You know need... how I feel about littering, Calvin. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> Aren't you, aren't you worried about a dead body floating under here? No, it's a weird lagoon. There's I'm, probably dead bodies and who cares? And I'm all. sorry, uh, <laughs> what? No, it's, it's a story that uh, they read. Yeah, yeah. it's a, a scary story about floating dead bodies in lagoons in Texas under darts. Hey, I, I, Adelaide, they don't need to hear that story. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. It sounds like a, like, story that seems a lot like the situation we're in, so that sounds spooky. What yeah, the story? seems like that, but oh, it's not. It's definitely not. The story <laughs> to tell the story? Yeah, no, I mean, it's like, I, if, if it's not too much of, like, you guys oh, all know the no. story, but I don't go to the same school, so. Yes, so there were some kids, college kids, and they went to Debra, school. come listen to this story. While she's telling this fake story, I want to go over and kind of, like, look down through the uh, slats and see if I see anything. Okay, so you give me a performance roll. Oh, good. Uh, and I will give you an additional minus one because I don't think you were prepared to tell this story. Oh, no. And then uh, <laughs> give me a notice roll, Sawyer. Okay. I, I also performance? would like to look. Okay, give me notice as well, Ron. I'm at a minus four. Are you really? Oh my god. Uh, I got a two. Was that the third time you rolled? Okay. Uh, with minus four, so. so wh why are you rolling again? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like straight up That cheating. makes sense. <laughs> no, I was trying to. Okay, uh, um, I got a one. Really you got a one. <laughs> she aced the yep. one. Okay. Anyway. And then you guys, one. you guys are making notice rolls. And I, I got a 14. A 14? That's pretty good. I notice good. It's my one thing. <laughs> X-ray vision. I got, a, I got an eight. An eight. Okay. Um, so, Adelaide, you're telling the story. I'm telling exactly what just happened. Okay. As a story. <laughs> like, it's weird that all of the characters in this story have the same names as us. I know. That's why I thought it was really weird and the thought that's why I was thinking about it and talking about it and then that's why I'm telling you I, about it. I can't follow. Um, so <laughs> meanwhile, while Adelaide is desperately trying to present you guys with a distraction, uh, you guys are looking around to see what you can see. Sawyer, you're, you're down through the slats looking. Are you also doing that mm -hmm. uh, too, Ron? So uh, Ron, you are down there looking to see if you see anything out of the ordinary. Um, and you don't see anything except for what looks like a little silver uh, plastic cap just sort of floating uh, through the water. Get the um, cap. Yeah. Rapidly, <laughs> rapidly floating away from the underside of the platform and heading out towards the open ocean and freedom. No. <laughs> Sawyer, you're also looking down through the slats. Uh, Ron seems uh, to see something over where he is, and he seems to react to it. So you go over to check out where he's looking, and you just happen to look off over into one side of the lagoon, and for just a moment, there is a hand that just crests out of the surface of the water. A, a hand that doesn't look quite right. A hand that's coloration is all off and seems to have rivulets of blood just running slowly down it along with seawater that just raises up for a moment and then disappears back down below the surface. Fuck, 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 okay. I need a fear roll. Gen Con TV is yeah. not sav saving throw show. Yeah, so we, don't, we don't know can just drop F bombs. Sorry. On here. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, they're going through. Frick, 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 frick. <laughs> Perfect. Nerd. You, you cleared That's it. That's what I did in the first part. Uh, was there a modifier? Uh, just your hungover. Okay. I will re roll. All right. Uh, I got a four. Four. Okay. So, despite the fact that you absolutely were not going to get involved in anything weird, this definitely seems like weird stuff, which is unfortunately right up your alley, but you managed to hold it together. Okay, I get up. Uh, 
Hey, uh, Adelaide, stop yeah. telling that story. It's not good. It's <laughs> oh, a bad story. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. it, we haven't gotten to the ending yet. Uh, uh, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't make more sense or, or have it. Let's I just keep drinking and having a good time, right? Don't remember the ending. <laughs> uh, okay. That is way Cool. Thanks for uh, sharing that with us. Yeah. yeah cool All right, let's get another round of drink going, guys. Yeah, let's do it. I, I, I go over to Adelaide and I'm like, I totally saw something. You, you, you did? You, you did? You're in entirely right. There was like a hand coming out of the, the lagoon over there. It, it had like blood coming off of it. It looked like mottled and messed up. Oh, okay. What do we, what do we do? What I think do we've got to get off. We, yeah. We've got to get out of this place, okay, right? Yeah. We've got to get to shore. Yeah, okay. Wait, what did you say? You saw a hand out in the water? I got a four <laughs> oh, on no. Deborah's notice roll, uh, who just happened to be nearby. Uh, uh, what? There, there's, there's someone out there? I didn't, uh, I didn't, no, we, we don't necessarily. Hunter! I, I, Hunter, Sawyer saw a hand out in the water. I, I think there's uh, someone in trouble. Where was it, Sawyer? Point, point to the place. No, uh, it, Remember that story I told? Wait, wait, hold on. Is everybody accounted for? We got one, two, wait. Uh, 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 is, did someone fall in? Where was it, bro? Oh, Where was the hand? Uh, Put it out. Put it out. I, 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 I think it might have just been in my head. I've had Show a lot of drink. Show me the hand, man. I, it, it's I'm not there swimmer. anymore. Where it was, was it? Hey, it, look, the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. But it doesn't work as a distraction. This is serious, man. I don't want to lose somebody out here, all right? My parents are going to kill me. Where was it at? Uh, it, it was just out in the water, but I don't think it was really a hand. It Point must have been a branch man, or something. Help somebody. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Hunter, look, it's cool. It, it, we're all here on the raft. It's cool. He probably just saw something else, some trash. Or I, 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 I point to where it was. And I'm like, look, it was probably just a branch or something. There ain't nothing where, there, just, look. Just out up that way? And, and you point out that way, and everyone just sort of gathers at the edge of the raft to look out that direction. And as they do, once again, the hand breaks the surface uh, of the water, and this time, what uh, looks like the top of a head, you just see matted hair just sort of break the surface in the very top of a forehead before it goes back down. And Hunter says, oh my god, someone's out there in the water. So, so, someone's out there in the water, all right. And, and he just dives off the edge of oh, the, no. of the rock and starts oh, swimming uh, out that way. Uh, oh, crap. What do we... Lay down uh, a towel! Lay down a towel! I'm gonna bring him back up on the raft! All right, yeah, we'll lay down a towel. All right, right so, so Hunter is just, like, freestyle swimming as hard as he can to get out that direction. Uh, Deborah and Kendra are just all at the edge, along with everyone else who's assembled, just watching anxiously to see what is going to happen. And he gets over there, and is just sort of, like, treading water and looking around, and he dives under the surface. Huh? And everything is just still uh, and quiet. For a long, pregnant moment. And then he breaks back up from the surface of the oh, water. Oh, God. I didn't oh. see anything. I didn't see anyone down there, but I'm going back down again. Red, I don't think Give me a second. No, and he goes back, back under the surface. Shh. Shh. Uh. And everyone just stands nervously, anxiously, watching the ripples spread out from where he just disappeared. And again, he breaks up above the surface of the water. I think. I think I got to, I got a hold of something here. It's just, it's, it's heavy. I, uh, maybe leave it. Wait, wait, wait. Something, something feels wrong. Uh, oh, oh man, S something feels really wrong. H Hunter, let it go and let come go back. Ahead. And you see his face just start to like set in, in, in like this panic stricken uh, expression as everything sort of seizes up in his body and he starts to just sort of sink slowly below the surface of the water as his eyes widen. And Hunter, let watch, go of it! As you watch, the flesh from his hairline just starts to slowly, it looks like it is being slowly pulled down off the surface of his body, revealing glistening red muscle and bone. Uh. And as you watch, every bit of flesh on Hunter's face and the top of his torso as he begins to sink below the water just gets pulled down as red blood starts to spill out everywhere on the surface of the water and he disappears underneath as a few bubbles break the surface. I need a fear roll oh from God, everyone oh assembled. Oh, okay. <laughs> you okay. And all of the townies aced it, so. Oh, nice. They're like, whatever. <laughs> we didn't like him that much. Okay, I got a two, but I have Clint, the edge that Clint Black made for me now, which means that I get an automatic reroll on fear. Okay, so use your reroll. I'm going to. Is there a minus? Uh, just whatever Correct. minuses you have already. Oh. A four. Uh, seven. Seven. You got a four? No. A four is four a minus. Four minus other things. Minus oh. one. I got a nine. A nine. I, I got a four. I'm good. Oh my god! I got a two! A two? Yeah. You have one Benny left, Adelaide. No. Come on! 
What is that? What number is that? It's a six minus one, five. Five. Okay, so you guys watch this happen in, in just sort of a horror-stricken, like, shock, numb situation. Uh, and Hunter has disappeared. He's down below the water, and the water is red, and you see slick blood just kind of pooling out from that area, and every now and then a bubble breaking the surface. And all of the, all of the, everyone else on the raft just starts freaking out. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! What happened to that guy? Uh, what is out okay, there? Okay, everyone, right. yeah. everyone, I don't calm know. down. I don't know what is going on. No, no, no. This is so everybody, weird. everybody, calm down, okay? Okay. This is this is we learned some of this in like uh, first aid CPR. You have to be calm so nobody else gets hurt. Give me perform. Oh, to oh, try and get oh, everyone's oh, attention and get oh them God. to calm down. Oh no. I'll give you a plus one for mentioning you know CPR. Okay, so I'm at a, a <laughs> minus two. Ooh, I aced it though. Uh, okay, so eight. Eight! Success with the race. Yes. So as everyone is freaking out and, and, and just scrambling for things and trying to grab all of their stuff like they're all going to just vacate the raft somehow, you just cry out that you know CPR and everyone needs to calm down. And for some reason, that is just the little bit of authority that everyone needed to snap back to themselves and calm down for just a moment. Okay, yeah, everyone calm down because there's something in the water and if everybody just jumps in the water, maybe that, that would be bad, right? We yeah. don't want that. Yeah. So um, we, we, need to, we need to think this through. Okay, but what the hell kind of thing in the water just like takes someone's skin off, man? That, that's <sighs> weird. The, yeah, that's like the a, kind of thing that we don't want to get in the water and find. Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah, no, I hear you, Sawyer, but the problem is we have to get in the water if we want to get away from this platform. Okay, m maybe we don't, though, all right? So, so this, this has got to be a, this is a floating platform, right? Yeah. Of some sort. It, it, it's got to be anchored. It's got to be tied to the bottom somehow. Maybe we can, we can disconnect it and, and row it like a boat back to shore. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if that's gonna work, you guys. Why? Uh, I, I think this place is like like anchored. I, I think it, I think it is like built up from the bottom. I, I I don't know. It's it's always like this is sturdy. I don't know if you guys spend a lot of time out on the water, but if it was just anchored, it'd be going with the current and like the the waves. But this is just this this thing is completely rock solid. So I I, uh, I, I don't right. know if it's mobile. Okay. All right. Um, but um, maybe we could. Uh, 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 I don't know, make a boat out of it or something. I mean, we have the small raft uh, around that we brought all of the supplies here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so maybe a couple of us go and get help and call the cops, something. Like, we gotta get Hunter out of the water, right? So just to remind uh, you, the raft is not so much a raft as it is a child-sized inner tube with a bottom. Right. So this is not really something that is going to provide any sort of security or, or can really handle having more than one person in it at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even the one person isn't going to be like entirely out of the water all that much. Oh my god. Oh my god, is Hunter he died. I, I think Hunter's dead. Look. Okay. Yeah, let the uh, uh, yes. Um okay, which one of us is the lightest? <laughs> Benny? <Okay. laughs> which one of us is the lightest? What, what do you mean? Well, I'm just thinking if somebody needs to use the raft, that's not a lot of protection, so you want to be light so you don't sink down too much. And I'm not getting out on, a, on, I'm on not, that little I, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily saying you, maybe. I, I, like, we, we can't send anybody out. We, that, that could kill them. I, I think we just have to, to come up with a plan that doesn't involve any of us getting in the water, right? Well, I don't know what else we can do. At right. this point, you all notice, in the midst of all of this chaos, the sun went down, the, went down and disappeared below the horizon several minutes ago, and it is rapidly getting much darker. And since there is not much light out here, the only illumination that is being provided is the moon and stars above. And as you notice the darkness descending, it gets harder and harder to see where the shoreline exactly is from the raft. This is a very secluded spot, so secluded that it is rapidly getting hard to see. Um, I just think that we don't have a lot of time and, and maybe what we could do, like we don't know what we're dealing with, but maybe someone on the other side can like, you know, put something in the water, make loud noise and All try right. to distract whatever yeah. it is. It's just a distraction. Here's what we do. We get the, the, the kids raft, we put something heavy on it, float it out there. When it goes down, we start swimming the other direction and get to shore. Yeah, we, we, we can't jump into that water. We gotta, if it's over there, it can't be over here, right? Well, if, if we're up here, we might be safe for now. But. We can't be here forever, man. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Does anyone, uh, you guys are all going to like a, a big state school. Does anyone have any sort of understanding of like, is anyone like a, a zoology major or anything like that? 
Do we know what we're doing? What kind of what kind of thing pulls someone's skin off in the water? Uh, okay. Lagoon piranhas? I don't know. Okay. There are piranhas here. Yeah, okay. I don't know. It's you know well maybe uh, it was someone brought something from the Amazon here and it's a lagoon and it's you know that happens an invasive species type thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if they brought an invasive species here, or maybe it is some sort of like ocean piranha, then I see a flaw in the plan here, Calvin. Because if we float something out there and everyone swims out, what if we're just surrounded by small things that can rip our skin off? Okay. Not to mention small ant, small strange animals have been coming up to Adelaide all day. Yeah, that okay. is weird. Well, does that? Oh yeah. Oh that right. Has and like seagulls left us completely alone. Anything yeah. to do with it? Well, I'm mean, yeah. Except I that one seagull with three eyes. Are we seriously talking about this right now? Our friend just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. look, and, and to stop the rest of us from dying, we need to come up with a plan. Okay. All right, well, well uh, I don't know what sort of plan we got, but uh, unless one of us is just going to, to throw the, something heavy into an inner tube and just hope that that's enough for the rest okay, of us okay, to swim no, no. to shore. Wait, 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 because what I was saying was not to use the inner tube as the distraction, it's to use the inner tube to send one of us to shore, and, and then someone else cause a distraction to keep away from that one person. All right. um, so that maybe they can go get help or find a bridge or something like that because, and, and also when, when Hunter went out there, I mean, he went after the thing, it's not like it immediately attacked him, right? So maybe there's time. Give me a notice roll, everyone. And I'm a minus two because the light is failing. <laughs> mm. um, I'll re-roll. Okay. I know, do good. I, no? I got a one. Okay. I got a two. I also got a one. Nice. I got a nine. A nine. Sorry for the win. So as everyone is clustered around, trying to keep the townies calm, trying to keep your roommates calm, trying desperately to come up with some way to get off of this raft without having all of your skin pulled off and forever sinking below the waves of Galveston's waters, Sawyer. You were the only person who was out scanning, who, who just keeps checking back to scan the water, and you just happen to see a rippling motion heading out from the general area that Hunter disappeared. It looks like something is heading under the water towards the raft. And judging by the size of the ripples, it is something big. And as you notice this, it starts to pick up speed, heading faster and faster towards the raft. You have just a moment to alert anyone before this thing crashes into you guys. A everybody, everybody, get down and hold on to this thing. What? Oh. Everyone uh, give me an shit. athletics roll to oh. react to his warning. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Dang, this fatigue is really messing me Ooh, up. Ooh, I aced it on both dice! Nice. Here's the Benny. All right. Um, minus two, you said? Was uh, no, no, I don't, did I, no, no, no minus two. Minus, sorry, I can keep track of them. Um, nine. Nine. There's one more, Benny. Okay. I'm not doing great. No, this is a good time to spend a Benny. Yeah, I would figure, nope, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, oh, you called out. You're oh, already doing five. it. Five. Okay. So you guys immediately drop down and like just hang on to the platform. Um, Calvin, you notice that Kendra is freaking out and you hear Sawyer's warning, but you have she she is completely oblivious. Mm -hmm. So you go over and just kind of shove her down onto the beach blanket that you had spread out for, for Hunter and stand back up trying to help someone else, and that is when the impact hits this raft. All of a sudden, something huge bashes into this thing from underneath the water and the whole raft lurches to the side and everyone who is not holding on to things loses their balance. I need you to give me athletics minus two. The townies other than Kendra are also going to do that and your roommates as well. Yeah, that's not gonna that work. That was scary. Yeah, I know. Oh, you don't have any, oh wow. I'm okay. done, yeah. yeah. Who? What'd you get? I did not make it. You did not make it? I did not. Neither did anyone else. Oh, cool. What? So apart from Sawyer, Adelaide, and Ron, as soon as this thing hits the water, all of, all of the rest of you pitch off the raft and splash into the dark water below. Everyone immediately starts panicking. Yep. Barrett is screeching. Oh uh, Dennis is desperately trying to get back to the platform. Even Laura Lee is showing emotion, and that emotion is fear, as the other townies are also trying desperately to get back to the raft. And once again, as soon as they splash out in the water, you see that ripple go back out away from the raft and circle around and start heading back to the assembled cluster of your friends and Calvin, all desperately trying to get back on board. Was there a rope? Or anything? There is not a rope. There's nothing, nothing. Is there, there is. There are some. Well, is there a rope? 
Yes. Great. Right over on the edge of the raft is a coiled rope. It looks old and weather beaten. Uh, it's definitely been out here facing the elements for some time, but it is there and it okay. might be serviceable for you, Ron. For like tying up boats and stuff. Help us! Oh. Help us get back on! Hey, okay, hey, yeah. come on. Uh. Don't panic, just swim back up. Swim back up. Okay. okay. You're also in the water. Yeah, so I'm trying to swim. Or what or is the plan? Uh, I'm going to grab the rope and I'm going to ask you to hold onto the rope or some or, or Adelaide, whoever's nearby, and, and I'm going to throw the rope out and try and pull people in. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Uh, also, I think I'll help with that, but I see the thing coming around towards them, right? Yes, like, it looks like it's circling out and coming back in, to, to in a deadline for them. Okay, I want to grab, uh, first thing, the cooler, okay, and try and throw it out in a direction that's not where they're going to try and distract the thing. Okay, so you want to throw it off to the side, like as far past them as you can. Yeah, to see if I can get it just to go a different direction for okay. a moment. Okay, so you're throwing the rope, you're doing that. Adelaide, what are you doing? Uh, I think I'll take off my, or I'll grab my my shirt that I probably had with me and use it like a rope and try and throw it in and get people who are a little bit closer. So I'm going to have you make a support roll to support what okay. Ron is doing. So okay. um, you, Ron, you're going to be doing athletics to try and just throw this rope out in a straight line as far as you can to get everyone held onto it. I need you to give me athletics to support that. So make that roll first. I uh, aced it. Nice. Uh, so seven minus one, six. Seven minus one. Okay, six. So that's going to be a plus one to your roll. Don't make that yet. Sawyer, I need you to try your distraction with the cooler first. Anything other than athletics that you're going to use. It sounds like a straight up toss. Uh, I think I got to use athletics. All right. I'm great at it. And I have no. So it, it is a pretty heavy cooler. So I'm going to give you an additional mm. minus one to this. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, that's... This is going to be really hard. You got this. You aced it. You did Double ace. ace. Yeah. Oh, ace boy. It. Very clutch. I still don't win yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's another ace. That okay, another ace. now I do. Yeah. And hooray. Okay, Not so I rolled 12, 13, 14, 15, and then minus two, two I guess. 13. 13. Success with two raises. Benny? Yeah, we'll give him that. Hey! Yeah. That is a very clutch move. So as as Ron is, is setting up to just throw this rope out and Adelaide is trying to also just go over and put things into the water to give people stuff to climb up on, you grab the cooler and just hurl it as far and as hard as you can off to the side. And it does momentarily, you notice, make the ripples move over towards the cooler. Just a brief moment. It swims that way and then stops and circles back towards everyone, but it does give them a crucial bit of time to make it out this way. Now, I need your athletics roll at a plus one, and this is going to be an opposed roll, Ron. Okay, perfect. Oh. I aced it. Woo. Yeah, my man. On the D8. Uh, that is uh, with a plus one? Yes. That's an 11. An 11? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Do you want to keep it? No. Oh, yeah, God. I do. An 11. Oh, yeah. said decisively and with confidence. I'm okay. not rolling a crit fail on this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Crit fail. Yeah. They all die immediately. Yeah. So you throw, cool. this, you throw this rope out, and everyone grabs onto it. And you and Adelaide are both trying to haul this back up. As Adelaide, you also have your, your shirt out just, just trying to help people out, trying to help Ron. It is a desperate, chaotic struggle. But people are trying to get back up on the boat or on the raft. I rolled a 7. That's not enough. Isn't it, though? Ha! I rolled a one. Ha! But I'll try one more time. No. <laughs> I rolled a five. You want to try two more times? No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ron, uh, the distraction that Sawyer provided was just enough to throw this thing off for, for long enough for you to get the rope out there and with Adelaide's help to get everyone latched onto it and start pulling them up onto the platform. Calvin, you get up along with the other townies and just as Deborah, the last one, is trying to get back up on to the raft, the thing comes rushing back and does not make impact with the raft. It turns aside just at the last moment, just as Deborah gets pulled out of the water. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, we, we can't stay here, we, we can't stay here. This thing, this thing is gonna bring this whole thing down. We're all gonna be stuck in the water. That was too close, we gotta get out of here. We've gotta get out of all here. All right, all right, Deborah, we, we need you to calm down. I, I know that this is a tough situation, all right? No, she's right, bro. We're all gonna die. What? Okay, Barrett. I'm sorry, man. I was always mean to you, but I didn't mean it. I respect your intelligence. <laughs> and I just want you to know that Barrett. before we all die on this goddamn raft in the middle of this stupid lagoon. Hey, Barrett, oh, listen yeah, to yourself. Yeah. You're talking crazy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 
you're right, you're right. I'm sounding crazy, I'm sounding crazy. Okay, you guys are the ones who always deal with all this weird stuff, right? Uh, yeah, okay, we got so how are you gonna keep us all alive? Uh, all right, so we, we kinda can tell when it's coming, right? So we just wait till it is almost here, then we jump on the other side. It can't go through the thing, it, right? It, it moves pretty fast. It's our only chance, I don't got anything else. Um, Calvin, I, I, I hate to rain on your parade here, but it's, uh, it's an open raft down there. There's, there's columns down there, but uh, there's just, it's just open water underneath. I've swum under there several times. Well, what else are we gonna do? What we got? Uh, okay. I mean, if it rams into it again, it might free up the raft, and then we could yeah. actually use it as a boat. If, if the thing stays together well enough. Sure. Well, I think it's well, gonna sink if it's not on those supports anymore. Though. We, we could also try and throw something really far away to buy us a little time to, I mean, kind of distraction like we were talking about earlier, but right. I, I, we gotta get off the raft. I already threw the cooler, and that was most of the things we have well, here. Well, don't we still have that bottle of Jack? Yeah, but I mean, is that what Do you want to go? All right, I'm just saying. It's expensive, damn, yeah, all right. One for each of them, coming right up. <laughs> As you guys are standing here arguing about whether or not to throw the Jack, uh, Dennis just takes a quiet sip from his water bottle. Hey, I can go out there. What, why, what? What are you talking about, man? I can. I can swim out and cause a commotion in the water and distract it for long enough for the rest of you to get back to the shore. That's Dennis. suicide. Why would you do that? I'm a pretty good swimmer. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fast in the water. I, I think maybe if I'm, if I'm careful, I can just kind of lead it around for a bit and then make it back to the raft. I don't know. Then you guys can go for help and send it back for me. Dennis, that's, that's Everyone it. give me a notice roll. Okay. Uh, you get a bonus for your, your uh, trying to tell, uh, it, read someone bonus. Okay. Okay, I got a four. I also got a four. Four, four, two. Two? Nine. Dennis has told you multiple times about how much, uh, how he was on swim team when he was in middle school and he won a lot of medals, so you yeah. think he might be up to this. Something seems off about, uh, about what he's saying to, to you guys. Sawyer? You can tell that Dennis is just trying to make the rest of you feel better. He does not think that he's going to be out, able to outrace this thing in the water. If I, if I get out there, I can just make enough commotion and you guys can get away. Hey, I, I think I can do it. Dennis. I don't know. I, I put my hand on his shoulder. I'm like, we're going to find a way that all of us get out of this without risking you doing that. I, I bet you could do it, but there's got to be a better plan. He kind of shoots a look to everyone else looking expectantly at him on the platform, and he leans in to you, Sawyer. I don't, I don't think we have a whole lot of time. If we can't come up with something quick, I think this might be our best way out of it, and I can do this. Hey, hey, look, man, o okay. I think you probably can, but let's, let's try and come up with at least one other thing first, right? All right. But I don't know if this, if we can weather another ramming from that thing. Yeah. If it starts swimming towards us again, I'm going for it. Oh, oh okay. But look, you, you got to take care of yourself. I, Sawyer? Ron won't have anything to Sawyer. get on the internet if you die. <laughs> Focus on a plan. All right, okay. Um, okay. So Dennis is just standing at the edge of the raft, like looking off into the water where the thing last stopped and just sipping from his water bottle very quietly. Well, okay, okay. I think maybe maybe instead of getting in the water, um, a few of us could stand to the side and, and make a lot of noise and, and splash in the water and, and, and try and get its attention over here while, while everyone else goes to the shore to get help. Right? I, I don't think you have to be in the water to do it. It's yeah. gonna be right next to us though when it gets there. Okay. Look, we, we have this rope, maybe we could... No, I, I think that's a good plan. I think it's the uh, best we got. If we don't have a lot of time... I'll, I'll swim, I'll, I'll do it, I'll go. Like, I don't mind. I, you guys I distract can make it. I'll swim. Distraction, I can do it. yeah. I, I think maybe like a few people should go, just to I'm, help. And I'm not a super strong swimmer. All right, um, you, I, then, I, I, if I can hold on to the inner tube, I, I can maybe get going. But I, I'm, I'm not that fast in the no, water. You stay here. I, I'll make the swim. Uh, maybe one other person with me. But Dennis, Ron? Dennis, you should go too. If you're a fast swimmer, this this is a, a good chance for you to use it. We can't stay on this raft. Yes, I know. So you have to go with Calvin. Dennis! We Dennis! Can't, we can't leave anyone on the raft, Adelaide. There's not going to be enough time for us to get Then we'll back. figure it out, but we have to do something, and we're not sacrificing anyone. Anyone who doesn't make it back to shore right now is probably going to die out here, okay? So we just need to figure out a way to get as many people back as we can. Okay, Dennis, do you remember how you were talking to Ron and us about how we're the ones who often get into these weird situations? Yeah. So can you just trust us on this one? 
I, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, so here's a thought, Dennis. You say you're you're a strong swimmer, right? Yeah. Ron, you're a strong guy. Are you much of a swimmer? I've swum. <laughs> it's look, I've swum. We, yeah. We have this rope. We we have these these floaties. All right. So maybe those of us who are better swimmers can help pull along the weaker swimmers. Swimmers. Okay. We can all get out of it together. Everyone, give me a notice roll. Mm. Nope. Uh, well, I reroll on that dice. That's good. No. Six. Six. Calvin. I failed it. Failed. Uh, seven. Seven. Two. Two. All right. Uh, you two are still focused on everything that's happening, but Calvin, uh, sorry, uh, Sawyer, <laughs> Adelaide, mm. and Dennis, you all see the ripples break uh, the surface of the water okay. again out from where it came before. So we're can, out of time. Can I, okay, I'm gonna go over to the, the like the far edge from the shore, whatever's furthest from the shore, and I'm just gonna start making noise and splashing in the water. We're out of time. We Dennis. gotta we gotta do this now. All right, Dennis, I'm going. you go in, you go in the water with with Calvin, and you take because you're the strongest swimmer here. You take Deborah on the inner tube with you. All right, Ron. we'll we'll distract. Dramatic task. Okay, great. Here's what we're gonna do. Three rounds. I need 16 successes. Holy cow. Okay. All right. Okay. That's Are we ready? Lot. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. Let's do this. Ron. No. Oh. Nine of spades. Okay. Sawyer, ace of clubs. Uh, All right. Okay. Ace Club. of diamonds for okay. Adelaide. Okay, okay. King of clubs uh, for you. It's a king, though. Three of clubs for oh the rest God. of the townies. Oh my God! Why are there three, so many clubs? We have three clubs on the table. Remember, you can spend a Benny to cycle your card. If you have a club, it's going to make your part of the dramatic task much harder and potentially way more dangerous. And it gives you minus two. Uh, uh, Redrawing. Yeah. Three of hearts. All right. No, I'm ah. sticking with my club. You're sticking okay. with it. I need to save this, I think. I am going to allow the NPCs to redraw one Yay. card. Yay! Queen of spades. Whew. Okay. All right. First up, it looks like it's you, Adelaide. Me. Uh, yeah, so what I said is I went over and I was going to start trying to make the distraction. Okay, That's so you I'm run to over do. to the side of the mm -hmm. raft and you just start slapping in the water. Slapping and just like yelling and making as much noise. This is the side closest to where the thing is coming from? Well, I mostly, no, I want to get it as far away from whatever the sh whatever side the shore is closest to. Okay. I'm on the other side of that. You're on the other side of that. Okay, so this sounds like, uh, what skill are you going to use? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to say that sounds like performance to me to try and get it distracted. Can I use athletics? Because I'm trying to make as much big noise with my b arms. There's big arms. I'll give you legs. athletics minus okay. one because your arms are canonically not that big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're mousy. Okay. Remember, every success and raise you get is going to add to your total. So this is a minus one. Uh, it's a four. I mean, it's a success. A four is but one I success. I really need, okay, I'm going to try to re-roll it. Okay. Oh, I hope that's not Wait, a bad. minus because of this? Yeah. Okay. Whew. No, actually, it's a minus two because of that. Because you ace? gave me a minus one, right? So that wasn't a success. Okay, yes, but you aced it on the d4. Yes, I aced there it. There it is. Okay, I mean, that's, that's a five. Okay, a five is a success. Adelaide, yeah. you go over one. and just start slapping the water, trying to create as much <sighs> commotion as you can to uh -huh. buy everyone else some time. Hand in your card. Calvin, you're up next. Okay, so she's making the distraction. I am going to just get ready to take a running leap towards the shore that we're going to, basically the opposite direction where she's doing this, right? Yes. Okay, so, but before I do that, I just wanna walk up to Kendra and be like, will you hold these for me? It's not stealing if someone hands them to you. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just okay. impulsively, she takes, she takes the sunglasses for you and all, just really quickly just gives you a brief kiss on the mouth. Good luck. All right, yeah, cool. Now I gotta live. All right. <laughs> I'll go. give you a plus one for that, Calvin. Sweet. Make your athletics roll. Athletics. However, you are at a minus two. Okay, so I'm minus three total because of fatigue. Sweet. Minus two total because of fatigue. So I'm giving you a plus one. Oh, right. Thank you. That's two threes, which doesn't it's do not it. not enough. But I got this. Come on. That's oh. also a failure. One more, one more, one more. That one was scary. My oh. last one. I'm not gonna get to do the weird stuff. What'd you roll? A 
two. A two? A three. Okay, so uh. you you jump off into the water, but but as you do, at the very edge of it, your toe gets hooked in one of the slats, and instead of leaping in right away, you just sort of splash off the raft oh. into the water, not getting as much distance as you need, and functionally not helping the team out at all this round. Give me that back. Cool. Thank you very much, Calvin. Cool. The NPCs are going to make their attempt now. They are all, as a group, just going to jump in the water and just start swimming for sure as fast as they can. This is so much harder without rerolls. <laughs> They failed. Oh, no. But because I am a fan of you guys, I'm going to spend <laughs> my last penny to help the NPCs Yay. out here. Aced it on a D6. Oh, yes! yes. Oh, Aced it on yes. a D6. Yes! The NPCs are going to do it for us. 17. <laughs> B team! Oh that my is God. B team, B team, B team, B. Uh, wait, B squad, right? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. The Collectively. B -squad. The, the townies and your roommates get three successes that add to it. They all cool. leap off and just start desperately scrambling for sure, all of them spreading out and scattering. Everyone's survival instincts are kicking in. If any one of them can make it, they are all trying to do that right now. All right, next up, Ron. Uh, I, as I, I'm going to try to also help distract, but I'm going to take, if I can find uh, something that I can, uh, like, hit the water with, like a, like a, a piece of splintered wood or something like that. that the I wood is not yet splintered, Ron, but I hear someone is really good at splintering wood. <laughs> okay, Sawyer, can you splinter this wood? For okay, yeah. yes. No. I would like to splinter wood, please. Okay, so give me a fighting roll to use Sipsu to just break a piece of the raft off. Okay. Okay, I got a six. A six? Yes. All right, do you want to keep it? That's one success. Um... I'll try, please don't crit. Fortune favors the bold Ron to Goth Stevens. Uh, I'll keep the six. Keeping the six. All right, you use a little bit of, of Sipsu uh, precision to just lean up, jump up, and just come down and just splinter a board right from the middle of the raft, and then you pull up a piece of it and just start slapping up the water, trying to cause a commotion on the opposite side of the raft yeah. from Adelaide. So now on either side of it, you guys are creating uh, confusing sound patterns in order to throw this thing off. That is one success for you, Ron. Hand in your card. Sawyer, what do you got? Okay, um, so since I'm still in the raft and everyone else has jumped on and started going, I want to try and watch the movement of the thing and okay. try and like yell out like which direction it's coming from so they can like swim away from it. Okay, so you're not moving back. You're staying on the raft right now along yes. with Adelaide and, and Ron? And Ron. Okay, so that sounds like notice to me. That's what I'm hoping for. Give me notice. <laughs> notice good. Uh, okay, so that's a seven. You wanna yeah, keep it? Okay. I don't have an option. All right, so that is okay. one success. All right, that is the end of that first round. So you three are on the platform trying to spot and perform a distraction for everyone else. The rest of everyone is just desperately trying to fly to shore. Here we go, next round. Ron, three of diamonds. Sawyer, five of hearts. All right, not a club. Adelaide, two of diamonds. Eight of diamonds for you, Calvin. Oh, Seven of diamonds for the NPCs. Cool. Flush. No clubs. And we got, well, yeah, we did get a flush. All right, so first up, it is going to be Calvin. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna continue swimming, I think, just straight towards the shore. Give me athletics. Okie dokie. Uh, I got a four. Four. That is one success. You want to okay. keep it? I, that's, I have no choice. Hand in your card. Okay. Calvin, you just start flying through the water as fast as you can. All right. Uh, next up, it looks like it's going to be the group of NPCs. Okay. Who's keeping count? Is that, is I am. He is. Five. They aced it on a D6. Yes! Woo! Team! Nine. That is two successes. Yes! Um, wow. They are going out there, and Dennis is trying to cause as much of a commotion as he can on the way. He's moving really quickly and trying to get back to shore, but he's also trying to help you guys out and confuse whatever is under the water. All right. Next up. Uh, you are. Sawyer. Uh, okay. I, I think Sawyer is, uh... Mm. Okay, so where is the thing right now? Uh, it's still swimming towards the raft, but it seems to be a little bit confused about which direction to go because of all the commotion. Okay, I want to, uh... I, I, I think Sawyer needs to probably... Well, okay, so you guys are still on the raft, right? Yep. All right, I want to try and... Time jumping off, so I like basically as soon as it hits the raft, I like am ready to leap off right before. So you're that. trying to use the momentum of it bashing into the raft to to launch yourself further. Well, more just like I I want the timing of so that like when I hit the water, it it maybe doesn't even feel that impact because gotcha. it hit the raft. Okay. Uh, what what role do you want to make for that? Uh, I'm not sure. It'd probably be athletics for jumping, but maybe notice for the timing. I'll give you notice for timing. Okay. <laughs> you have sufficiently convinced me. Make your roll. All right. So generous. 
Uh, that is an eight. An eight. Mm -hmm. two. two successes. Yes. Okay. Plus two, minus one. All right. Okay. Hand in your card. So as as you're doing that, Adelaide and Ron are making their commotion, yes. and yeah. the thing is about to hit. And when it does hit, you jump off yeah, and jump and, into the and water. Yeah, and I think I, I, I'll, I'll be like updating them as it goes on. All it's right. coming at us fast. It's about to hit. Get ready. Okay. Okay. Ron, what do you got? Uh, uh, when it hits the thing, I want to try and take a hit at it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give me fighting, Ron. Fight back. Great. Aced it on a yes. D6. Yes! Whoa! Yes! It yes! Kill it! And a two, that's 14, uh, 15. 15. Okay, so as the thing comes swimming up to you guys, uh, that's four successes, I believe. Um, you see, cresting the surface of the water for just a brief moment, some sort of horrific amalgamation of flesh and bone and muscle and faces of young people, among them hunters, all oh, clustered no. together, all of their eyes clustered together on the body of this thing to form one sort of giant spider-like insect cluster of eyes that are all blinking in unison as it rushes toward the raft and breaks the surface. And as you see that, Ron, before you have time to even take it in, you're stabbing into it with the splintered piece of wood and you make a direct contact right into that cluster of eyes and there is just a hissing screeching sound from underneath the water as bubbles and black ichor explode out of this thing and that is all of the time and distraction you need to jump off and head back towards shore hand in your card run Adelaide, what do you got? Uh, well, I think if I see that happen, that seems like a good time to try and swim to shore as well. So Could I'm not agree with that. you more. Yes, athletics? Yes. Uh, ooh, I aced it both eyes. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's uh, eight minus just one, right? Uh, so that's seven. Seven. Yes. That is one success. Yeah. Do you want to keep it? I, 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 I have to. We're all out of pennies. One success. What? Is you can't give it. Oh. No, the I'm last success edge. you oh. needed. Woo! Oh, successfully make it. Run! You stabbing that thing right in the face seems to have severely impacted its ability to hunt, and the rest of you jump off the platform, and everyone is desperately scrambling towards shore. On shore, there are two men dressed in black coats with black hats and sunglasses, screaming at you guys to make it on the way, all the way to the shore, trying to help you out, spotting the thing for you, letting you know how close it is, and everyone is already scrambling up to the shore. You guys make it back, and just as you do, you feel the impact of the thing hitting the shallows of the water. You feel the ripples of the water push you all the rest of the way onto the beach and then you see it turn around some sort of fleshy abomination glimpsed for just a moment that slides back out into the water and sinks below the waves you kids all right uh, yeah. no, no i, mean, I know not what? really uh, yes no what i don't the hell know what's that man all right listen the important thing is that you got away from it, all right? We're authorities here. Okay. We're here to take care of this, all right? My name is Agent Weiler. Are this is my partner, Agent Shipper. Are you a man in black? What? Are you a man in black? No, like we're just the X Files in the local movie? constabulary. I don't think that's true. What? Just trust us. We're gonna take care of this. And the man's tall, silent partner just stands <laughs> next to him <laughs> and gazes at all of you and just nods confidently. But first, uh, we found this on the shore. Does this belong to any one of you kids? I need you to take a look at this. What is it? What is that? You guys look at this weird sort of metal orb in uh, Agent Weiler's hand, and as you all lean in to take a look at it, there is a bright flash of light. <laughs> ah! And everything goes dark. And you wake up the next morning, all of you, in one of your hotel rooms, disoriented, unable to remember anything past the beach party yesterday and having the shots of blue Oh out on God. the beach. Oh, what was in the blue? Someone stole my shades. Why? <laughs> what happened? I, 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 I sidle over to Calvin um, like real quick and I'm like, hey, Calvin, uh, do you remember much about last night? No, uh, I, I didn't. I who didn't are you people? With... Oh, who are you? Uh, and we'll leave you to sort out this awkward situation <laughs> in your hotel room down in Galveston for spring break, completely forgetting the events of this one oh. unfortunately tragic again. evening Kid. in your spring break vacation, but living to fight another day as you return to East Texas University to continue dealing with all of this weird stuff. <laughs> and that is where we will end this Yay. afternoon. Thank you.
Thank you guys Thank very much. You. Yes. If, if you enjoy what we do, we stream wild cards every Friday night on Saving Throw, twitch.tv slash Saving Throw Show. Uh, we would love to see you there. Uh, thank you again to Gen Con for yes, hosting us yes, here. Yes, thank you. And thank you to all of you yes. for coming out. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate it. And thanks to Hero Forge. Yes, thank and thanks to Hero Forge. Thanks to Hero Forge.